these tunes are sick. Oh my god. I, I had to do it. Two weeks in a row, we start the stream with Galaxy Force 2. God damn. This is baseline. Ridiculous. This one's even more ridiculous. We'll just listen to this bass line. And then we'll bring it up. Yeah, we got transitions now. I hit the wrong one, but what are you going to do? This bass player is losing his damn mind. All right. All right, everyone. Hey, hi. We're doing something new this week. I'm using studio mode. <laughs> studio mode. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Another delightful stream. Filter in. Uh, well, who am I kidding? No one, no one watches. We'll see if anyone watches in the archive. For those of you that watch in the archive, hi, how you doing? Hope you're doing all right. Uh, today's stream is sponsored by Half Drank Diet Root Beer in the two-liter bottle. Um, because that's all there is now. They got rid of cans. COVID got rid of cans. Damn you, COVID. This baseline is absolutely out of hand. Oh, we got Bronx Taco. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Filter in. Have a nice casual night. It's going to be cozy tonight, everyone. We're staying cozy with our JCPenney monitor. Um, But these these tunes aren't cozy. These tunes are hectic. Okay, so we're, if, if anyone remembers last week, we played some uh, Fred Couples. Uh, or Sorry, Golf Magazine Presents Fred Couples. Or no, Golf Magazine Presents 36 Great Holes starring Fred Couples. And it had a ripping soundtrack. So I had to actually go in and rip the music from the ROM because it doesn't exist online. So that's what we're listening to now. So I found out the music I'm listening to changes my demeanor on stream. So instead of NBA Jam, which usually makes me kind of like, uh, like uh, Jesse Ventura, we're going to play some games live for some reason. Uh, this one makes me feel like a golf commentator. A new flavor. We've leveled up. We're getting more professional every day. We're going to be reading the June 1995 issue of GamePro Magazine. Uh, now, the astute observer will probably recognize that uh, I already did this magazine. This was actually the first magazine I did in the Rad Reads series. But that was before I knew what the heck I was doing. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna read it live. And I didn't play any of the games from it. Didn't even think about it. And that was my bad, everyone. We're a little older now. A little less naive. Um, so we're gonna dive back into this because it's canonical. Oh my, yeah. I mean, this was it, guys. This was, I mean, I started with this one for some reason, but... This was it. 3DO, PlayStation, Sega Saturn, Jaguar... N64, On the Horizon, uh, Sega CD, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, Game Gear, The Lynx, uh, Game Boy, Super Game Boy. It was a good time for games, it was a good time for the world, and we're going to go back and relive that moment now. But first, I want everyone to uh, understand what it was like, what it was exactly like in June 1995. Batman Forever had just come out. Uh, Judge Dredd was about to come out later this month. Apollo 13 was apparently out. I saw that in the theater with my mom, for some reason. Um, you can tell I ripped the music because it has no fade out. How sloppy. What the hell? And that's why I just lost a viewer, because that's sloppiness. Congo was coming out. Remember Bruce Campbell's in that for a split second? Uh, Pocahontas was just coming out. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, had just come out. On TV, we were uh, just wondering who'd shot Mr. Burns. Season 6 had just ended. Season 7 was about to start in a few months. Uh, X-Men the Cartoon was uh, airing the episode Weapon X Lies and Videotape, where Sabretooth, Wolverine, Maverick, and Silver Fox go to some shed in the middle of nowhere and find out that they were all tampered with. 
And Wolverine was once again shot down by his ex-girlfriend. Uh, the Tick just uh, a few months ago f aired the episode The Little Wooden Boy in the Belly of Love, which is a ridiculous episode. M amazing writing. It was a golden time. Golden era for TV cartoons in particular. As for music, uh, Michael Jackson had just released his double album History. Herstory? History? <laughs> uh, Pennywise About Time had just come out in 1995, June. Um, this month. I still listen to that album. That was one of the first punk albums I ever listened to, and I still have it in my car, or my wife's car, because her car has a CD player. Um, my car still has cassette. And I still have to do this to roll the window down. Wait. There we go. Um, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Alright. Don't judge me. Um, yeah, that's a great album. I still put it in every time. Every time it's like, oh, what do you want to listen to? This? Um... Uh, what else we got? Fear Factory, D Manufacture had just come out. I remember that was also an album that, production-wise, just absolutely blew me away, and I ended up buying it and only liked the first song, the song that initially blew me away. Uh, I later ended up using it as a coaster, and I spilled grape juice on it. In Flames Subterranean had just come out. Um, and just to show you we're not all metal-focused on this stream, even though I was very metal-focused at that time, or a little after that time, actually. Uh, Paula Abdul, Head Over Heels, had just come out. So this is what we're dealing with. Season 6 of The Simpsons, this is a good barometer. Season 6 of The Simpsons had just concluded, and this magazine had come out moments later. Um, let's all remind ourselves that Simpsons is now on about season 30, I think, so season 6. Um, um, right, I should probably, uh, I'm going to use the transition again. Uh, check it out, everyone. Let's read some magazines here. I had to make that. <laughs> It'll probably get me copyright struck, struck, struck with the copyright, but that's fine. Uh, sorry, I forgot you guys couldn't see the uh, magazine in question while I was reading all that, uh, but that's fine. Um, so here's the big bang, the big bang of video games. It's getting crazy in here. Um, so let's dive in. It's when Saturn just starts getting like actual promotion, and you're like, damn, things are happening. I remember the Saturn commercials were starting to hit the TV. Seg, uh, Saturn. God damn this tune. And at this time, I was still firmly a Sega Saturn believer. I was gonna buy the Sega Saturn, not the PlayStation. You really only have enough money for one. And even then, I remember uh, I was visiting my dad for the summer because our parents were split up in different provinces, by the way. So we visit our dad all summer. And he's like, uh, I remember he walked into the room and said. Hey, Matt, uh, come on, I'll go get you that game. He said, quote, that game. He didn't realize that that game was the Sony PlayStation, and it was going to cost a lot more money. Oh, man, Bronx Taco uh, said he had a Lynx, and he surprised it was strong enough to uh, lift it. Wow, well, now I'm curious. What would you say it was equivalent to? How? What else is the, the weight of a Lynx? And uh, how many batteries did it go through? <laughs> what games were on the Lynx, too? Man, the Lynx is weird. I, uh, that one passed by me pretty, pretty smoothly. Um, that's of course on Twitch chat, everyone who's questioning that, or wondering that. Um, okay, so we're talking Sega Saturn, right, so, uh, I remember my dad was like, oh, when he realized how much it cost, but, I mean, he was already in for a penny, in for a pound at that point. Uh, Final Fantasy 2 was getting big commercials here. It wasn't even Final Fantasy 3 yet, interesting. So, at the time of this magazine, Final Fantasy 3 was either just out or am I reading that? Is that Final Fantasy 2? Okay, no, no, no. All right, Final Fantasy 3. Because I don't know if there was Mogs or Mog in Final Fantasy. Um, Final Fantasy 2. Ah, also fun. It's the theme song from Fingers from <laughs> Slam City with Scotty Pippen. Uh, fun fact. Also, same composer as uh, Toe Jam and Earl. All right, so Final Fantasy III had come out and blown all our minds, if you were into that kind of game. Warlock still getting advertised, like three or four issues deep. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Congo cards. Collect them all. Impress your friends. Did, remember the laser beam they had in that? That super laser? Yeah, was, I didn't mind the movie. I want... Can anyone confirm or deny when was the last time you saw Congo? Is it still a good movie? I don't know. 
I don't remember. So I tried real hard to get uh, Fahrenheit working here for Sega CD because it looks like a really cool um, motion, full motion game, but I just couldn't get it to work. It's like a double disc and I don't know, the computer just throws a hissy fit when it's like, uh, we don't know what you're trying to pull here. You put in disc one and it says, press start and then insert disc two. That's not how games work. So we're going to do it today, everyone. We're going to play Gex because this game was hyped up like you haven't played a mascot game until you've played Gex. I don't know about that. I just don't know about that. That seems questionable to me, at best. What's the buzz, man? Every few years, courtesy of new technology, the video game industry undergoes a metamorphosis, like the 16-bit action games and the metamorphosis here. Highly explosive. The PlayStation, the Saturn, the Ultra 64. We'll soon join the 3DO and the Jaguar, which we're just ripping it up on the high-end hardware pedestal. Great expectations have been laid upon this next generation of hardware. The companies promoting the new consoles have made some lofty and murky promises about what we should expect. All right, I don't need to read this whole thing because uh, we're not insane here. No one's, no one's even watching, except for Bronx Taco, my boy. Uh, he enjoyed entering, entering the gecko. Gex. Bronx Taco, did you have the 3DO? Are you telling me that you played Gex on 3DO? Because that'd be amazing. That baseline is out of hand. All right, let's change it though. Oh, here's a classic. Joe Montana Sports Talk Football 2. The title screen. Uh, this is the first and only song I learned how to play on the bass. Um, because I only like playing stupid songs. So, yeah, we're going to skip through this maybe a little fast because, uh, as I said, I did read through this issue already, but I didn't play any games from it. So we're going to dive in here to some uh, arcade games. And oddly enough, like, uh, we already played Mortal Kombat 3 last time. We already played Street Fighter the movie last time. But what we haven't played is some of these games. Um, so let's dive in. Here's the games list for today, everyone. Gameplay. Uh, let's cut it over here. Um, and I cannot read that for the life of me because my screen is too small. All right, so we got Sega Cool Rider, Virtual Striker, Fatal Fury 3, Devil Dragon on Neo Geo, which is actually way better than you would expect. Way better than Double Dragon 5. Um, Air Combat 22 and Cyber Cycles, 947 Aces, a stupidly hard shmup, and Backfire, which may or may not work well on my machine. And the great, uh, right, these are two rally games. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of an arcade-heavy issue, which is odd, you know? You'd, you'd think, like, with all these consoles coming up, they'd be like, yo, look at some of this console stuff. But that's at the end of the magazine. Right now, we're going to dive in and play some Cool Rider. Because we're pretty dang cool on this stream. <laughs> okay. Got to load up main here. I mean, we gotta plug into my monitor, uh, my arcade machine I have in the other room. Cool Rider. This is Haru Kanaru Augusta. I guess Japanese uh, tennis game. All right, let's uh, be classy, tone this down. Let's load up our uh, first game of the stream. Oh, that's right, it has like a double. Why would it do that? Why would it do that? Yes, please. This machine is standalone. All right, whatever you say. Don't hurt me. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Here we are on the gameplay. Gameplay, right, right, right. Okay, close you. We don't need that. Why is this so widescreen? Oh, that's right. Yeah, it has like maybe some issues with it. But that's fine. So we're just gonna play one of them, and it's gonna be really wide. All right, super wide for some reason. All right, let's change you over. I'm actually gonna change it off studio mode. That is not helping me. Ah, there we go. All right, we're gonna have to pull some radical maneuvers here. I don't, I don't want to do this, but I uh, know ah, whatever. We'll just do it like this. Wait, no, that is not gonna work for me. When I started trying this out uh, to test it out. It had two monitors side by side. I was like, what is that all about? Why? All right, my uh, inputs are already jacked up. 
All right, we'll go dual side by side. Quit giving me a hard time. Now, just give me one. I'll cool it. You're on motorcycle number. Oh, did I already? Is it this one? Mm, is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Hey, that was a close call, everyone. No, oh, but why? I can't make you sit here and watch this. It's all jacked up. Don't worry, everyone. We're gonna solve this issue. We don't have a sloppy stream here. I'd say this is going smoothly. All right, here we go. You guys think I can still make it? I'm gonna have to rip it. So you guys are wondering why we're here in like two games at once. That's because there's actually like the way that I get. Oh my lordy! Look at this airtime. The way. Oh, here we go. The way this uh, I guess ROM works is that it uh, it plays two at once for some reason by by default. All right, I got my time. Whoa, that's unnecessary. Look at this though. This is absolutely insane, isn't it? What kind of weird game is this? <laughs> I always wonder when games are this insane looking. Like, is this because modern machines make it run so fast, like way faster than it would have back in the day? Oh no! I'm ahead of my rival though. That's pretty good. Oh my lordy, what am I doing? <laughs> no, 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 stay in there. I don't know if I'm supposed to run over these or... Time extended. We did it, crew. All right, so season six of Simpsons had just ended and we're busy playing this game in the arcades in Japan. Whoa, unnecessary. Look how goddamn fast this is going. <laughs> it doesn't help that there's two games playing at once of audio. Oh, Lordy. Not the tomatoes, get away from the tomatoes. Ah, oh, we didn't make it. It's fine. <laughs> Doc Brown has to come out and get us. All right, well, that probably has something to do with the fact that I missed the very start of the race, but that's fine. Born to be wild, apparently. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, so Bronx Taco saying that uh, Gex was also on PlayStation. I guess I forgot about that. All right, well, let's do this one a service and play it again. Sensible this time. Oh, damn. I don't even need to see anyone else. I'll be this guy. Die ho. With his kids in tow. Whoa, this is super dangerous. Whoops, I guess manual transition. There we go. Oh my lordy. This game is, uh, shift up. Okay, what, what do you want me to do? I don't, all right, what if I go straight? Is that fine? Oops, no, I want to shift up. Oh my lord. This gives you a real accurate sense of what it would be like to be playing the game in the arcade, where the other machine next to you is also playing way too loud. I do miss that. There's a, there's this uh, guy online that has made a bunch of um, like recordings of what it would sound like in an arcade during certain eras. So he's, he's basically loaded up a bunch of ROMs and just has them all play at once. But the one thing he gets wrong is that he doesn't... Um, he doesn't... No, that's shift down. I'm the worst shifter in the world, apparently. Um, he doesn't... Oh, my kids are hurt bad. He doesn't do enough to, um... Make it sound like they're coming from... Like, the part of the fun of an arcade is walking through it. So what I wish they would do at, like, California Extreme or some of these big arcade conventions is get a really good microphone and just, like, m walk through the, you know, the, the floor so that you could actually get what it sounded like to walk past an arcade machine that's playing instead of just having them all blast you at once. Where, I wonder where all the damn synth is coming from. What, what level is the other machine playing? Getting out of hand. Sorry, kids. I gotta win this race real quick. Only 13 seconds. I don't know how to shift up. I only know how to shift down. Whoa, do we get time time extended? Well, we crashed through the White House. That's outrageous. Look at these pleated pants. Very nice. What a nice look. All right, that's enough of this game. That's I know it's a little much to blast you guys with. Two games at once. That's, uh, all right, let's, let's get real here. All right, so now let's go back to the magazine and see what they had to say about Cool Rider. This hard driving motorcycle game features eight drivers with different attributes and 48 stages. Jesus, 48 stages. Now the game looks good and plays well. Another great looking striker, blah, 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 blah. All right. 
Sorry, let's look at the game while I'm doing that. Um, so that was Cool Rider. Possibly referencing the movie? Was that also called Cool Rider? Something Rider? I'm feeling a little parched lately. I was doing a lot of funny voices for my kid in the last couple days. Man, my voice is a little scratchy. And then, and you guys get this? Your voice is scratchy ever for like the smallest little bit. You're like, COVID! I don't know. I'm sure a little diet root beer will fix it. It's not very cold. I'm breaking my own rules, man. The thing with diet root beer though, especially A&W diet root beer, it goes flat so fast in the bottle. What can you do? What can you do when your root beer is cold? I mean flat. All right, what's next on the list here, everyone? Gameplay. We're talking Virtual Striker. We're gonna play some Virtual Strikers. Sega, still king of the arcades at the time. Oh, we'll turn this down just to scoot. Although, you know what I learned last week watching my stream over and over again? Because that's all I do. <laughs> Is it? Uh, it's, it always seems quiet. Everything seems quiet. I don't want you guys to have a quiet stream. So, if anyone's in the chat. If this is too loud, Easy Rider, that's what he's talking about. Uh, Bronx Taco, he's got my back in the Twitch chat. Easy Rider, not Cool Rider, but I'm sure there was some sort of reference there. So we're going to play some Virtual Striker Soccer. Oh my god, this tune. Very worldly. Alright, so I had to mess up my uh, name to get that other game to work. So now we're going to stretch it out. Uh, yeah. Get you over there, and now it should be good again. So don't let this fool you guys. It does actually play pretty well. Um, it's not an amazing. I think it's mostly just audio that gets a little jacked up here. We can live with that. Do I got room over here? No. That's as far as she goes. Uh, give you a little bit. Okay. Uh, all right. Nine tokens already. Really? All right, let's go. Let's go USA. A okay. That's okay. It gets a little better once you get in the game. At least when I tested it. Did. Mostly, I just want to show you guys this because it looks bizarre. They were going big, like. I don't know if it plays as slow as this in the arcade. Big boot! Boot it! Shot on net! Oh, what a big save from the orange dandy. Oh my lord. So there's a couple shots here where they show behind the uh, the player. And it uh, it really does seem striking how... Whoop! Whoop! Can I go around? No, 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 no. Alright, now you're asking for it. I don't know about you guys, but I got two shots on net already. That's pretty dang good. I don't know how soccer works, especially video soccer. Are you going to kick it right to my guy again? Hey oh All right. Got Blondie here. Passing it over to this guy. All right. Is this a speed boost move? All right. Maybe we won't play too much of this. This is playing a lot crappier than it did when I checked it out. But there is something to be said about this type of, these type of graphics, this era. This was like, you'd see this, can you imagine a soccer game in the arcade? What the hell were we doing? Oh man, I can't believe you made that pass. There you go. They don't seem to be calling any plays here, which I appreciate. Whoa, we're in trouble now. Yeah, that guy blew it big time. All right, this is clearly not an ideal way to be playing this game, but uh, Big pass. We're making a big play here. Oh, no, no. Right, because that's what soccer players usually do. All right. All right, I want to go out of bounds. I want to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, they do this good camera shot. Wow, that is slow. All right. That's an odd move. What? Oh, they're not showing the camera shot. All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll wrap this one up. Shot on net. Let's see what the computer can do if I don't even try. All right, they give me the ball. Not the best AI I've ever seen. All right, but uh, you know, we did our due diligence. We checked it out. 
It's not the best. It's not the best. Might be the worst. <laughs> All right, what's next here? Uh, let's go back to the magazine. I always forget to show you guys the magazine. That's part of the fun, right? Oh my god, two crew dudes. Yeah, there was, uh, uh, Bronx Talk was mentioning the audio. It was definitely jacked up. They, I mean, they, uh, they say at the start that the game is not working properly, and I guess it depends on when you start it, because it was a little better when I tested it. That was unplayable. Damn, God, this is heavy as frick. Two crew dudes we're listening to right now. Let's get that I'm a little off-center. Yeah. What's the point if you can't see the fun, funky colors? I bought myself a green screen the other day, so expect some uh, ridiculous antics with that in the coming future. Uh, Alright, where are we at in the magazine? I'm also saying gameplay-wise, Fatal Fury 3, Double Dragon Ninja, okay. Oh well, here we are. So SNK is still going strong in the arcade, so Neo Geo is basically SNK. And uh, they really had a... they really upped the arcade vibes. Um, the arcade was a special place because the whole time we had Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis and even Nintendo, uh, SNK and Neo Geo games were in the arcade, basically looking like the best pixel graphics in the world, always. Um, so keep that in mind because we're going to play Fatal Fury 3 and Double Dragon, both fighting games. Um, Double Dragon actually might be a better fighting game than Fatal Fury 3. Wouldn't that have been weird if they'd just gone forward with Double Dragon Neo Geo instead? Kind of impressive that Double Dragon was uh, pulling such weight even this far after Double Dragon 3 had come out. Alright, now we're, uh, we're going to play some games. Let's close our thing. Of course, there's your classic Neo Geo boot up screen. This one passed right by me. I don't ever remember seeing this one in the arcade. Lord. I'm a bit of a Terry Bogard man myself. Um, let's fight Blue Mary. Pioneer Plaza. At Pioneer Plaza. Alright, so remember now, this is like pixel art at its highest level at the time. You couldn't get any better. Alright, you guys let me know if this is too loud. I'm gonna experiment with being louder than I think is okay. Oh, and I need to actually push in on the thing. Oh, lordy. I like how they have the breast jiggling. I like that touch in video games. I know ladies don't seem to like it. I always say, let the... Make Terry's jingle jiggle. I'll, I'll be fine with it either way. I want more jiggling in video games. Oh man, I smashed her. This seems extremely loud to me, but I'll let you guys be the judge. Go! Maybe what I'll do is just turn it down a bit in my headphones, and now I don't think it's too loud. Oh, you gotta get... oh I blew it. Not a crack shoe. So one of the things that's neat in this game is they have like fake moves. Like, how do you do that again? Do you do a half circle back and two buttons at once, or is it both kicks? Okay, I can't remember how to do it. I'm trying to do his fake move. Alright, I can't. But, um, it seemed like that was a big thing in this game, is they wanted to do moves where it looked like you were going to do a certain move, and then he cancels out of it. And it's a way to, like, screw up your opponent. Uh-oh, no, no, no. Oh, she smashed me, and my hat flies off. All right, I was distracted by the jiggling breast. Yeah, you didn't know who you messing with. Here we go, here we go, here we go. No, 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 no. Oh my god, she brought it back. 
All right, classy little kick to the shin finish. A lot of people's number one weakness. Surprised you didn't know that. <laughs> He's not wearing a hat. Wow, you still can move. You were one tough cookie. Oh, was that a custom thing he said to her? Oh, man. He just beat a woman. Not cool, Terrence. Look at that pixel art with the shading. It's glistening. All right, so Joe Higashi or whatever, one of the original characters from the original Fatal Fury. Yep, and I have to click on the screen if I want to play. Okay, we're going to get my butt kicked because I just clicked off the screen. All right, big comeback. Here we go. I <laughs> wasn't kidding, people. Evo, Evo worthy. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, didn't know who you were messing with, Joe. Fighting level A. This song is kind of ridiculous. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Oh, he got the full knee. Oh, double in a row. Seems like he's taking a lot of damage off me here. Oh, I'm in trouble. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, that's right. He shoots tornadoes. Oh, my God. He beat the bejesus out of me. And that's how funny. Okay. What, a, what an a-hole. Oh, he tornadoed me. Oh, yeah, what do you think of that? Oh, I'm in trouble now. Whoa, three-hit combo. Craziness. Oh, the full knee. Guys, I'm choking. I'm choking. I choke. Guys, I choked. That's fine. Yeah, I'm really proud of you, Joe. That is a decent game. I feel like, uh, you know, I never really gave the Fatal Fury series much of my time. Look at this. Jesus. They hurt him bad. They really hurt his feelings. All right, we're going to move it a cliff because we got games to play. We got games to play, people to play. We're going to move to Double Dragon on Neo Geo. That's what we'll be doing. Oops. Of course, I'm typing in stupid things. It'll only show me stupid things. Double Dragon, Neo Geo. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say I might actually enjoy this game more than I enjoy Fatal Fury 3. I know. That's a crazy thing to say. It's a crazy thing to say. I know. All right. This time, I will have my controller on the screen. All right. You might be thinking, oh, come on. This looks silly. Granted. But wait till you see it in action. Plus, they have a Bobo in it, which... Uh, that's an instant thumbs up for me. Look at the art, though. Doesn't that look exactly like the artist from... Uh, Ninja Scroll? Looks like Tasai. Look at that. Okay, they went for it, man. That's pixel art, like trying to show you 3D sort of planes. Oh, da da da! So that was also the big thing that I... As far as I know, the Neo Geo is known for being able to zoom in and out. Which none of the consoles could do, at least not on this level. And that's why these games looked so striking. Alright, let's see if I can double charge. Wait, how did it go? There's my super move. Sweet. Whoa! Dude, dude's Burnoff did not know who the hell he was messing with. See, you know, this game seems quiet. It like ducks itself. That's very strange. Oh. Master of Kung Fu. A Bobo. I don't know. Am I supposed to hit him on the ground? Oh, damn. I hope that's not his charge move. Damn, he just charged me good. I'm trying to do my super move. I had to look it up. It's two half circles back. And both buttons. A Bobo should have a much bigger head, says Bronx Taco on Twitch. Well, you see, the thing is, uh, <laughs> he's not your typical Abobo. 
Uh, he almost follows the Abobo from the movie, Double Dragon movie, where it's like he's all lats. Are these lats? I'll I'll do my super move and you'll see he just flexes and becomes nothing but neck. Eddie, by comparison, has a super small head. Is there a dash? Yeah, there is. Oh, three hit combo. I think there's like a life bar thing going on here. You see the three colors? Okay, here we go. Super move. There we go. His head gets a little bigger. That's mostly all neck. But... All right, we're in trouble here. Deep waters. No, 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 no. Oh, hell yeah. He'll fake him out. Double hammer fist. Whoa! Even his top of his head has muscles. There we go. Jumping in. Aggression. Maximum aggression. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm having more fun playing this than I did Fatal Fury 3. Can I kick him while he's down? Oh, sheesh. Alright, here we go. Kind of a hard thing to pull off and land. Oh man, I'm smashing. I'll see you guys at Evo this year. High level Double Dragon Neo Geo play. It's basically room temperature. Um, but I will be sponsored by A and W Diet Root Beer. I go. All right, let me see the Lee brothers. All right. Versus Jimmy. It's Bimmy. See how they call him Ababo. I always thought it was a bobo. Oh! Shots fired. Oh man, you lit your dojo on fire. Maybe we should stop fighting. There's, there's other things going on. Whoa! Oh, I'm just out of range. Okay, we gotta watch out. He could do his charge move at any moment. He sweat kicked me. Yikes, he countered me. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Yeah. Oh, see, that was me just uh, being a... Being a bit of a nervous Nelly. I always try to attack first. Sometimes it gets me in trouble. All right, big jump in kick. Yeah, nice start. Oh, Jimmy's coming back now. Jimmy's got some new moves. Holy lordy, he is annihilating me right now. Not looking good, folks. Holy lord, I survived that. I don't know what the hell he was doing. I was actually really nervous there. Ababo wins. All right, round three. Do or die. All right, all right. Be patient. Cooler heads will prevail. Whoa, ripping off Street Fighter pretty good there. Okay, so I guess the blue meter is blocks. Oh, I walked right into it. My B. Holy lord, I can't do it. Can't get in on this guy. Gotcha. Oh, no, no. Triple hit. Oh, he's still got his charge, too. Oh, that was whiff. I whiffed. It's fine. It's fine, everyone. Way to go, Jimmy. You're the best. We were beaten by the best. Hell yeah. All right, we're going at a good clip here. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up, everyone. What else have we got here? Air Combat 22. Did I even check that one out? I don't know. Let's check the magazine. What else we got here? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Super Circuit P47... Uh, Aces. I guess that's the next one on the list. Air Combat 22 is also on the list. Cyber Cycles. All right, I'm going to play P47 Aces next. That's what I'm going to do. So uh, This list is not necessarily indicative of um, the order in which I'll be playing the games. 
So let's uh, bring up some tunes because I'm not a lunatic. Uh, Alright, so here's the game here. Um, Jellico. Jellico makes this one. P47. Now you'll be interested to know, it's actually P-47, not P-47. These are the things that matter. Uh, while we're here, for the people in the stream that might not know, uh, let's see if this works. Let's just go cut. I do have a band cam. I don't know if anyone knows. With lots of soundtracks on it. Feel free to visit it anytime you wish. Uh, you can also stream the, a lot of these off Spotify and... Uh, uh, what the heck? iTunes. Some of the newer ones are on the streaming services. Otherwise, you can just stream them on Bandcamp. No obligation to buy any of these soundtracks. But for the love of God, check them out. Check them out and enjoy the goodness. Um, because if you don't, then no one will. Well, no one but me. I still listen to all my stuff at pretty at a pretty nauseating clip. One of the problems when you uh, work in the audio field is that you cannot listen to music while you're working on things. Like you can't even listen to podcasts because your ears are being used, right? So you have to just sit there and listen to your own stuff a lot. It's not bad, but you know. Okay, time for some games. We're gonna be playing P47 Aces. And for some reason, this one's all wide and stupid too. Why? Maybe I can... Um, video controls. Why? No cocktail? No. I don't know why it's doing this to me, but that's fine. Let's turn our tunes off. We don't need those on. So while we're watching the attract mode, I'm just going to go in here and fix this because it looks ridiculous. Get you over there. Yeah, this is a smoking hard shmup. I, uh, get your expectations nice and low, everyone. Because I will not be doing very well. Maybe it was just the guy I picked. I picked this old guy. Because he looked worldly. Well, this guy looks pretty hardcore. Black Widow shoots it. Oh, Alright, I guess me and Black Widow. Fine, you don't want us to figure out who we're going to pick. I have to see the weapons. Gosh. Alright, I'm going to experiment by turning this up. Last week it seemed like all the games were just super low. Alright, we're back in action. Oh, lordy. That's one of those games where you hold the button down. That always kind of bums me out a bit. I like to press. I like being forced to mash. Get a little workout, right? Oh, my God. That's the thing with sideways shmups. Oh, lordy. It's hard to tell where your hitbox is. Harder than the top-down ones, I find. The big thing with shmups is you have to just make sure you're always clearing enemies. You don't want to leave them on the screen because they just keep shooting at you. So you have two different weapons here, I think. So you have an A and an S, and you uh, upgrade them independently of each other. Oh, lordy. All right, I need my power-ups or else I'm in big trouble, so I had to use a bomb there. And this girl seems like she's even harder to control. Oh, lordy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and I went into it like a deer in headlights. Alright. I mean, that's what's making this game pretty hard, is the hitbox is just like, God, what the hell am I looking at here? Alright, no one in the chat yet uh, on YouTube, but uh, we still got to back to work. Thanks for stopping in, Bronx Taco. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll be on till, well, midnight my time, so another two and a half hours. So, uh, uh, perhaps see you later. If not, thanks for stopping in. Uh, can confirm that all these soundtracks are amazing. Ah, that's great. I appreciate you checking those out, Bronx. Uh, let's go back to YouTube then. Uh, we lost our chatter. We're back to YouTube. Look at this. Look at them. They had... They were going for it. You can see them in the distance coming in. Alright, green bullets. A little, a little easier to see. Let's see if I can shoot this guy before he becomes a problem. Oh, lordy. Oh, Jesus, no!
Who's shooting at me? Good lordy. Oh my god, dang. I want that S more than anything. No, oh, they got me. All right, we're gonna try again, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play as the old man. And I am gonna use a bomb. Oh, they shot me down before I could use my bomb. Well, that's just great. Which button is the bomb? God dang it. Is it oh, okay. For some reason, it's triangle on this controller. Ooh, the old guy's slow. The other girl was fast as heck. Oh my god. Okay, I don't want to be him again. We'll be regular the girl to start. Maybe the all-purpose character. Oh my god, Jesus. Hey! I had to use the bomb there. I had no choice. Now oh, bullets are just going to come spitting at me in no direction. Can I go up here or is this going to kill me? No? Okay, good. Well, that would have been helpful to know. I find with shmups, it sometimes helps to just blur your eyes and try and see where the pocket is. It's hard to tell when you have this giant plane. We did it though, everyone. I don't know if that's the first boss or what the hell. Stage clear. She looks a little young to be a fighter pilot. Alright, alright, alright. Enemy is moving into the secret weapon in the new location. Locate and destroy. Can do. Oh man, look at me. I'm maxed out. Oh my goodness gracious. They are not wasting any time with this level. This is a l stupidly hard shmup. I am not joking around here. Oh my god. I'm just trying to get my power-ups. I can't even get to them without dying. Whoa. These guys at the bottom just shoot straight up. Man, you gotta kill this guy quick or else it's game over. Man, look how far they push me back too. Alright, we'll do one last one as this guy. Alright, alright, alright. We gotta get these guys cleared. Clear them. Clear them. Da -da -da. Oh, man. I'd like to see someone actually playing this high level. Because this looks... This feels hard. Oh my god, dang. Alright, this is the last one, guys. Just, no, 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 I'm out of bombs. I gotta get this, 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 this. I'm like sweating playing this. Jesus. Alright. That's all I can take of A47. Or P47. Alright, we'll uh, leave these tunes going. Let's look at what else is on the list here. Uh, Air Combat 22. Oh yeah, we can enter our name. Oh no, it entered it for us. Alright, well that was hectic. I'm sweating now. Jesus. I'm all tight in the chestal region. P47. Alright, let's get our tunes back while we're in the middle of looking. Oh no. Welcome to Rad Plays. Rad Reads. Game Pro June. 1995. Become Jesse Ventura whenever this song turns on. What the hell is it called? Air Combat 22. Now I have to fix my dang screen again. Ah, look what you done to it. Let's get you over there. Get you over there. Shrink you down. Move you over here. Getting better. Okay. Also, anyone who's in the chat who sees these games on the screen, if you know one that you for sure want to check out, let me know. Because I'll play any of them. I don't care. I just don't care. I don't want your life. We don't need two songs at once. Let's slowly fade that one out. Let's be responsible here. Namco. I said it was Jellico. This one's quiet. Doing a nice little... <laughs> Top Gun Anthem ripoff here. I'm going to turn my... There we go. This is the only way I can get it to be louder. I'm going to also turn it up a bit in the game. Alright, that should be better. 
Alright, since when did you play a airplane game in the arcade, you know what I'm saying? Oh, am I already going? Oh, it's game time. Alright, well, for some reason I'm starting out fully locked on. Oh, we're out of control! Maverick! There he is. Lock on. The soundtrack is happening. Did I get him? Did we whip him? Damn it. We got him. Is he still alive? Jesus. You pull some radical maneuvers to get away from that? Got him. I wonder what the control was in the arcade. If they had like a flight stick for this? I got him. I got him. I got him. Hell yeah. Uh oh. We're in a tailspin. This little uh, orchestral hit there. You're out of control. Oh, I got the guy behind him. That's funny. Soundtrack is killer. Oh, target ahead! Oh my god, you gotta get him! I don't know if there's like a slowdown button though, which is kind of important when you're trying to turn sharply to get someone who's evading you. I used to play some airplane games a lot. Not that I was ever like ace at them or something. Oh my god, I'm the top gun for sure. I was inverted at the time. This guy is pulling some wicked moves to get away from me. Lock on, god dang it. Am I out of missiles? This song reminds me of uh, Cool Borders 2. I am out of missiles. Oh man. Oh, we're not going to hear the end of this song. I'm out of missiles. No! All right, that's that game. That's pretty uh, ripping. Now I have to remember to undo everything I turned up. I turned you up, and then I turned you down. No, you go back up. All right. Oh, uh, Jack. Goose. Oh, Jesus, Goose. Oh, no. That's a hell of a, hell of a thing when Goose died. Even as a kid, I found that sad. It was just a sad scene. It really broke Maverick down. Oh, Jesus. Goose. Goose! No, we can do this again. Goose! Oh, no, good! Don't hit that eject button! Real tears. Real tears. It's a long movie. Top Gun. When was the last time you guys saw Top Gun? It's like two and a half hours long or something. All right, let's see what's next. Hey. Next on the old list. Cyber Cycle. I don't know if I checked that one out. Well, let's consult the magazine. Cyber Cycles. More bike busting fun is with Cyber Cycles. This fast moving, stomach clenching speed demon of a game is just as much fun to watch as it is to play. We're gonna put that to the test. Not to this song though. Crusader Ascenti, it's a great song. And yeah, it's a great way to stay in shape. Alright, Cyber Cycle's coming up. 
I could spell it correctly. Found it! This one says it also has some issues with the emulation. I'll leave this up until we're ready to rock. It says, unemulated features, LAN. Imperfect emulated features, graphics. Well, we'll just see about that. Cybercycles. All right, let's rock. Press view change to start. Guys, I'm not messing around, okay? Yokohama. Goddamn expert at this game, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Now, this one's also quiet, so we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, let's crank you up. Yeah. Alright. Tag and rag. Oh, that's right. This one uses triggers. That's that's pretty cool. Triggers for the uh, brake and uh, gas. I guess this is one you would sit in, maybe. Because I'm basically just going full tilt on the thumbstick. Oh, dear Lordy. All right, we can we can bring it back. We didn't pay two tokens for no no reason. This is the kind of stuff you'd see in the arcade and it would just be blowing your mind when you saw it. Hell yeah, this song is killing. Oh damn, this course is no joke. A lot of graphics here. Namco too. I wonder if they're using any borrowed assets from Ridge Racer. Twenty seconds. That's not good. Got to pick it up. All right, time extend. There we go. Pass him on the outside. Jesus. Pretty ripping, ripping track they're going for here. Sorry, I'm just pretty enamored with this. I want to win. Why does it say I'm position two of three? All right, big hairpin coming out here. We get his hairpin. I like they're going for it with this soundtrack. Because these are samples. These aren't real guitars. But remember now, Pennywise About Time had just come out. Oh, you want to play some Xevious? If you guys don't look like this when you're riding your motorcycle, then you're doing it wrong. I don't get this position system. I feel like I'm doing okay. Guys, am I wrong? I, what the, these are pretty good graphics. I like that city in the background. All right, I'm going to get that second position back. I'm going to do it for you guys important oh not like that I'm not I'm still way ahead of people even though I'm crashing they gotta get up oh did I not make it second place of three well that's cyber cycles everyone we tried our best we failed miserably nice little touch here zipping around on the track well, that's Cyber Cycles. We can move on to the next game now. We'll see what the next game is. And it's Backfire. Backfire the game. From Rally Games. This one's weird. The only reason I want to show it to you is uh, mostly because, like, they were still... Oh, yeah. Last battle we're listening to here. A good, bad game. And by that, I mean a bad, bad game. Which is a double negative, which makes it a good, good game. Solid logic. No need to add it up. Okay, wait, let me, am I, alright, things are happening. Um, yeah, I bought this, 
last battle I bought for some reason because the guys in the back of the box had big muscles. That's all I needed. Like, yes, this is going to be a good game. These guys are ripped. So what are we playing here? Uh, let me look at it in the magazine first. Let's see if we've already brought it up. We have not seen it in the magazine yet, so let's see. Backfire. You look at this, like, I guess, um, I guess rally games were uh, big at the time. Oh, by the way, I have to turn this down now. Cranking it. Uh, 10 dB. There's a normal 0 dB. So when you're ducking something, you don't want to raise the volume up after. But I'm only doing that because it's an easy way to make it loud again. Last battle. Alright, so here we go. Backfire. Rally type game. Backfire takes you... A rally type racing game. Backfire takes you through some of the hardest courses in the world. Bounce this one around at your local arcade. Um, I'm sure this one made a lot more sense in the arcade because for some reason... You guys know tank controls, right? Where if you're going downwards on the screen, left on the thumbstick makes you move to your driver's left, which is right on the screen. Uh, but this game... That's the way it is when you're going upwards on the screen, and when you're going downwards on the screen, it's the opposite. It's ridiculous, and it will probably cost me making this game look like a normal game. Backfire. Oh, another wide game. Why are they doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, no, it's not a wide game. Okay, good. Let's enjoy... I don't even know if this... This might not have come out outside of Japan. And for some reason also, be prepared that it only plays in one speaker. The soundtrack is ace. So here we go, guys. So as soon as I hit start, it only goes in the left ear. Is it going to stay? Nope, there it is. What a weird glitch. Alright, that's fine. Eight-way joystick is what it says. I... But it doesn't make sense. I guess, okay, that's why it works for upwards. All right, we'll see if I can pull that off. Let's go. So that even with the audio being as ridiculous as this is and broken, we're still going to play it because this is a weird one and it's worth looking at nowadays. Because it's pixel art. I mean, that's the other reason why I wanted to show it. It's like a pixel art game. Oh, and if I could just... If I could play it correctly, that would be ace. Long easy left. I, I, Long easy right. You almost have to like tap it. Uh, what, where am easy I going? Right. Easy right. Like they, you know, they had to go for it in this weird way. I'm just gonna keep crashing into things because this control scheme is ridiculous. Very hard left. Very hard left. Pin left. Oh. Okay, so that is ridiculous. Right. The hairpin doesn't just, you don't keep hitting one button to do the whole hairpin. You have to eventually change it halfway through. Oh, lordy. As long as you're right. As long as you're right. I mean, the spectator should get the hell out of the way because this guy is losing his mind out here. Easy left. Easy left. Long easy left. Long easy left. Oh, my. Oh, Jesus. Long easy right. All right. Easy right. Easy right. I can't even get the easy right. Jesus. Easy right. Two point. Long easy right. We got extra time. Final lap. Whoa. Long easy left. Long easy left. So I'm pushing right on the controller right now. That, that Jesus. Oh Jesus. Easy right. All right. Is that the way? Easy left. Long easy left. Long easy left. I caution. no caution. This takes so much of my brain power to concentrate on the reversed controls here. Very hard left. Very hard left. Hairpin left. Hairpin left. All right, let's get this one. Yep, and that's how we get it. Oops. That's pretty insane, though. Look at the, the graphics on this car. All right, timeout. Look, that's as much as we're gonna play that game. I appreciate how much they went for it. Oops, I played that with game list on the screen the whole time. Uh, Alright, let's do one more. I can't live with that, guys. I won't. 
I refuse to live with that. Alright, we're looking way better this time, right? Hairpin left. Long easy right. Long easy left. Alright, can I get it without hitting the wall? Yes, 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 yes. Alright, that's a little better, right? It's not so bad. I lost my rockin' tunes, though. Actually, is less distracting. Whoopsies. I, this is so confusing. Alright, I just want to do that hairpin again. Very hard left. Very hard left. left. Alright, Jesus. <laughs> that's not what it's supposed to look like. Oh my lordy. Well, hey, that's a classy way to get extended time. Caution! Yeah, Dogen's in the chat here. Uh, we're basically doing a perfect run here. Um, deadly serious. I mean, maybe one of these buttons makes you do something, but... Um, if you're new, I just want you to know that this game has directional controls, even though you're on a certain side of the screen at all times. It's not the way it's supposed to go. Alright, we gotta, I gotta turn this off. I'm losing my brain. So that is an impossible game to play live while trying to talk, because it, it has no common sense in the controls. Not like these tunes, which are very common sensical. Um, Alright, next on the chopping block... I was going to play Great 1000 Mile Rally. I don't know if I should do that. Let's see if maybe I can go off script here, see if I can play a game from... At random! Anyone want to play... Uh, what do we got here? Rad Reads. If any of these stand out to you guys, let me know. I'll definitely check them out, or see if I have them. I have most... most things. That hairpin, yeah. Here's the thing, Dogen. To do that hairpin, you have to... hit left as soon as you get to the top of the hairpin. And then as you're at the apex, when you would have to start turning left again, you now have to hit right, because it's a directional thing. You want to turn right on the screen. It's mind-boggling. Um, I'm, I'm kind of curious about this Data East fighting game, Outlaws of the Lost Dynasty. Let's see if I have it, guys. Let's see if I have it. Outlaws of the Lost... Or if it was a game that even came out. I do have it. 1995. Alright. How can you argue with that? I like playing fighting games on stream even though they're impossible to make look good if you don't know how you're how to play them. Wait, I don't want to show this in case it says like if you play this game you're under arrest. Although I'm sure this is mostly for like, hey, don't buy this and put it in your arcade unless you're in this region. They weren't thinking in the future. If you're playing this on a stream, you're going to jail, tough guy. Which, of course, I'm not, because I own the machine. Alright, let's play some fighting games. Them's fighting words. I like it so far. What do we got here? Oh yeah, that's right, I did play a little of this. This is a weird character. Let's fight this big guy. Reeky. He reeks. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the weird thing with this character, I mean, this is where they're starting to get weird with fighting games. He's got, like, this rabbit ghost that follows him around. <laughs> Jesus, this is loud. So Data East here is uh, doing some of the patented SNK zooming in, zooming out. Did I punch him in the nose? Is that why he's upset? Oh, Jesus, he's chopping me up. He's flaying me. My ghost just let it happen. Oh. Oh, he's got rock powers. Hell yeah. High level Evo moves. I'll see you guys this year. All right. Things are happening. This is a weird fighting game. So my light attacks are my own little guy here, but my heavy attacks are the rabbit ghost that follows me. Holy lord, I really blew that. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Of course this uh, slap bass sounds about right for this, this attempt at a historical looking game. Oh lordy. Ricky's bringing the business, man. Aw, oh, what the... 
don't touch that rock, it might hurt you. Uh, some little gl graphical and audio glitches here. Not ideal. Whoa, he fought. Or he got started quick. Ah, I take that, Riki. He backed me into the corner. What can I do? No, he's flaying me. Ghost, get him. Oh, my God. The worst golem ghost protector ever. It's getting close. Oh, he finished me with a classy little elbow punch to the face. All right, that's enough of that game. That's weird. Am I wrong? Oddly classy game at times. Sounds like a... What's the guy that did Wings of Hanayam Eyes? Sounds like one of his chord progressions. Wait a moment. You want to enter your name? That was a hell of a fight there you, you had with your rabbit ghost. All right, so this is what we're dealing with, guys. This is 1995 in the arcade. Um, I wouldn't mind checking out this Time Warner Cops game, but I don't think it would work. You guys remember Cops? I heard they took it off the air. It's the uh, end of an era. Certainly a... It's like that whole era of TV shows back in the day, like Rescue 911. And, uh... Man, Rescue 911 scared the hell out of me as a kid. I was so worried that my house was going to get broken into or lit on fire. It's like a number one fear of mine, because of Rescue 911. And then because of, uh... Oh, Jufes, welcome to the chat, buddy. Um... Uh, he's on Twitch, by the way. Yeah, a little chat in the Twitch. What games have you gone through so far? Well, we've done nothing but arcade games thus far. Um, I think we've hit this whole first chunk of arcade games. Uh, that's what we've done so far. Plus, plus Outlaws of the Lost Dynasty, which is a funny fighting game that I just finished. Um, all right, so we're kind of moving on in the magazine now. I don't know if there's any more arcade games. Um, Jaguar, still. Man, they're, they're pushing it. You guys want a Jaguar? Just play it, please. It's 64-bit. I don't think it is. All right. Uh, today's uh, stream sponsored by Warm Diet Root Beer in the bottle. Um, it's got to wet, wet the, the, you know, all this chatting. You got to chat so much. Guys, do the math, okay? If you don't get this, then you're clearly, uh, Illiterate at math. All right, I'll get it, and I'll buy Hover Strike or Burnout. Okay, let's look at this for a second. I want to see they're pushing hard, right? Guys, it's really, really good. I remember, I remember, I remember thinking this game looked hardcore. Oh, I want to play that game. Let's look at her sexy outfit. Ultra Vortex. That looks like an even crazier fighting game. Ah. Um, I don't need to do this, do I? Stand by for action. Action. How do I get it to fill the whole screen? What the hell am I doing, everyone? Alright, well that's as good as we can zoom in on today's stream. I'll have to look into that after. So, they just started doing PC games in the Game Pro. Which is, uh, I think they hadn't been doing it until now. Um, so add the PC into the console war, if you will. And things were just getting hectic. Yo, Blake Creamer's in the chat. Uh, he's asking where I got the Rudies from. Diet Rudies. Um, my wife found them at Superstore. Local Loblaws. Sobies. No, they're not Sobies. Are they? Okay. They had some two liters there. Uh, two liters is not ideal for your Diet Root Beer consumption because the second you crack it, it loses its fizz. So here's one that I want to play, guys. Uh, Heretic. Heretic? Um, heretical? Uh, it's Doom Clone, and it's funny that they just, they go right up and say, like, Doom Clone. What, is that a compliment, or? Doom Clone. Okay. But it's one that I remember seeing a lot, and I always thought, like, that game looks hardcore. Because at the time, at the time, I think I'd actually just got a hand-me-down. And what had I? 1995, so I'd have been 12. So it was just before I was 13. When I was 13, I got a hand-me-down 
from my brother who's in the chat um, for Slayer's Rain and Blood. For some reason, I was really into that. I know I liked it because it was fast, but I think the the menacing evil themes of it I know scared me at the time. I used to turn it down when they would say, Praise Hail Satan, because uh, that's not allowed. I felt like I was doing something wrong. Uh, of course, it's an art piece, so you don't you don't get that as a kid. You think, like, they're actually... They're, they believe in Satan. Like, no, it's just art. Um, the uh, Norwegian black metal, those guys believe in Satan, and it's kind of hilarious. Like, you guys know how cringy that is? You guys, that's cringy. Oh, here we go. That's what I need to do. Get in the center. Full screen. Nice. Now we can zoom in. So here's what you'd be... If you were me, and you're like, whoa, I don't have a PC good enough to play this game, but like, look, it looks crazy. Look at this crazy enemy. And so now we're going to see. We're going to see for ourselves how crazy this is. I have to open up LaunchBox. Uh, LaunchBox is a good uh, emulator. It uh, brings all your emulators together. If you get it set up, it's really handy to use. I don't use it for all my stuff, but I use it for enough. So I actually managed to acquire Heretic. Heretic. Blake, this is the soundtrack for Two Crude Dudes, my brother in the chat who may remember playing this game a lot on Sega Genesis. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm sure that that it was a compliment. Uh, Dogen in the chat saying, funny, because it runs on the Doom engine and it helped them out. Um, Wait, why are you playing the tunes? I didn't say play no damn tunes. Um, so I guess, like, it was a compliment, saying, like, a Doom clone. I would think that's, like, a prerogative. You know? Excuse me. Die, Rudy. Going down super smooth. Uh, all right. Let's play this game now. We're going to have to turn our two crew dudes down. And, uh, everyone, we're going to play... We have a choice. Do you want the Sound Blaster or the Sound Canvas? Now the Sound Blaster sounds like Sega Genesis basically, and Sound Canvas sounds like a, kind of like a, I like Super Nintendo actually. If I had to make a comparison, uh, a little better, a little grimier than Super Nintendo. More orchestral, so, I'm sure at the time the Sound Canvas was the one everyone's like, oh you gotta get the Sound Canvas dude. Whoops, I almost put my two in the chat, that's not gonna make any sense. There we go. We're doing it. I'm gonna make sure to turn this off this time. Uh, all right, so advisory, everyone. There's gonna be violence and gore in this game, and I'm gonna have to use the controller or the keyboard. Right, let's start her up. Um, new game. Elzma. It looks insane, though, hey. Let's just go easy, because I'm going to get my butt kicked way too fast. Alright, which button is shoot? Control is shoot. Space bars, doors. It's funny, back in these days, uh, to make these shadows on the ground, these are called sectors. And which button is my... One of these buttons has to be strafe. Are you... Oh, I'm... Sh Oh my lord, I'm just getting my butt kicked on easy mode. Okay, you have to make sectors on the ground. So when you're looking at the map, from like a grid point standpoint, you basically just draw the triangles on the ground and then change the value of the light on the ground. So to do lighting in these games, you would have to basically be drawing it like it was kind of like a... Oh lordy. Okay, can I just use the mouse instead? And which button is strafe? One of these buttons is strafe. This is awkward. This is awkward. No, I'm gonna have to do it this way. I need a yellow key to open this door. Son of a... Alright, which one of you rascals has the yellow key? And how do I strafe for the love of Christmas? Is it these? No. That's turn. Strafe. Uh -huh. eh. It's gotta be a strafe button, right? Am I right? Alright, you know what we're gonna do? Oh man, it just keeps you in game. Um, okay, it doesn't tell you what the buttons are. Alright, that's no good. Let's go info. Um, 
weapons. One, two, three, four, five, F functions. Do they not have a straight? Am I just supposed to like wander around like this everywhere? That seems funny. That seems like a funny thing to do. Pace left, pace right, okay. Uh, that is way out of the way. Our page left page, okay, well that's not what I want. Now is it? All right, where's my GD yellow key card? Yeah, so these games didn't have a look up or look down. You could only just point at someone and shoot. All right, is this a yellow key card? Yes, it is. Did they actually call it a yellow key card? Cause I don't know if it's a key card. Yo, give me some of them wizard shots. Wand crystal. Am I full? Oh, I'm full and everything. This is a lot easier on easy mode than it was on normal mode, which I tested it out on. Whoa! Okay, this guy is a pretty good death animation. It just explodes. Oh, also, you see how the light's flickering in here? This was, uh, you'd place a sector effector into the sector, and some of them had values like, just flicker the lights. And, uh, I remember looking at other people's... Because I, I, I know all this stuff because of Duke Nukem. I used to, like, make my own Duke Nukem maps. Um, and I, I, it was the first time in my life I ever took notes on something. Like, I, I wrote down how to do everything. Like, I spent more time on Duke Nukem maps than I did on schoolwork. And, uh, I made a map that was so big that I ran out of, like, there's a limit. You can only make so many walls. So that's a wall, that's a wall. Like, so many points on the map. And you can only put so many things on the map, like sprites and sector effectors and things like that. And I maxed out walls and sector effectors for the map that I made. It was truly gigantic. Whoa, lordy. Yo, give me those gauntlets. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get these gauntlets and check the chat. Whoa, sneak attack. I don't know who you're messing with, dude. All right, can I, do I have different weapons here? Do I have anything else? Oh, yeah. Lightning hands. Uh, it's doom. It's alt plus left, right. In Doom, it's Alt. Oh, okay. Alt was left, right. He is not wrong. That is exactly how you strafe. You saved me, Dogen. The guy knows what he's talking about. I haven't played these games properly in years and years and years. Um, all right. Blake Gamer Dude. Weird game that was first person that you go through the house. What different games had? Satanic Five. My brother's asking. Yo, Plus Soul. Welcome to the chat, by the way. Uh, two crew dudes was, uh, Dude, what was that weird game that was in first person and you go through the house, I go different rooms? I'm sure that's... he's on his phones. I had a, it had a satanic fire. Are you thinking about, uh, Night Trap? Is that a Sega CD game? Yo, who's getting these lightning hands, alright? You little rascals? I don't know who you're messing with, dude. Did I get him? We whip him? Alright, we whipped him. Alright, let's strafe out here. Pro level moves. Yo, who's getting a piece? This fool? Okay, that's actually rad. That felt good. Felt good to kill. Oh, damn. Look at these general MIDI drums. They're making the most out of them. Alright, who's getting a piece? What is this? Slime? Ethereal arrows. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's this nut? You want a piece? Oh my. Oh my lord. Alright, that was risky play. What is this? Can I collect this? Nope. Let's scoot over there. Man, it feels weird to be playing this game like this. A first person game with the, the number pad on the right hand. Okay, Dogen says he looked it up. Still, appreciate that. That's a that's a good that's a good guy in chat right there. Keeps the streamer on on point. Appreciate you, Dogen. You're a good man. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Oh, here we go. Which one is my arrows? You're dead. Whoa, sneak attack. Coming from behind, fool. I got the ethereal arrows. Don't mess with me. Get the vial. Get the health up. Alright. Now you're all in big trouble. What is this? Tome of power. Alright. Sounds ominous and menacing. Uh 
Oh, okay, let's see how powerful this is. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Oh, two hits, that is very powerful. Back to the start, eh? Where the hell am I going? Did I go down here yet? Oh, yeah, that's the first level. All right, I'll play this for maybe a little bit longer. I'm just having success. When I have success, I keep playing. Oh, this thing looks like a door. No, nope, been here already. All right, well, we're about ready to, this is PC games in 1995, by the way, for everyone who's wondering. It's the state of PC games in 1995. I guess, like, graphically, it's a little better than Doom. It seems like it's playing a little choppy on the stream, though, for some reason. I guess because I have it zoomed in. Yeah, that's the case. Because it's silky smooth on my screen. I don't know if it's silky smooth for you guys, but it's silky smooth on the... My screen. The stream looks choppy as frick. Alright. We can't have that. I can't live with that. Are you sure you want to quit? Heck yes, I'm sure. Alright, uh, we had it. Uh, you played more than me. Oh, yeah, okay. My brother's thinking about uh, Tecmo's Deception. Yes. That is a game I did play a lot more than you. Um, I did a stream with it. I'll send you a link to it because um, I actually played that on stream uh, like a month ago or something. That was a weird one. Uh, all right, so what's next on the list here? That was PC Games, 1995. For some reason, played Super Choppy. We're listening to some Heru Kaneru Augusta. God damn. Of course, these vibes extend out to all my fans. Appreciate all you watching the stream. Um, of course, we're reading GamePro, June 1995. Um, I did try and get some of these other ones working, like Top Gun. You need a flight stick for it. It won't work for me. And I wanted to check out Deadless Encounter because I remember seeing it all the time. And uh, it has Tia Carrere in it. Ooh. Um, Wayne's World. Um, and True Lies. But also, like, what is... Maybe I can just zoom in here. What the hell is this? Can you guys make sense of that? You're like, oh, I want to play that game. I don't know what I'm looking at. But I like that this Top Gun game looks weighty. It's like, you're looking at that, you're like, man. That looks like graphics from a movie in the 80s when they would have, like, a quick CG scene. Now at your fingertips. Uh, special track out there going to my brother. This is Fingers theme from Scotty vs. Pippin. Or Scotty Pippin Slam City. Scotty Pippin! Alright, let's see where we're at here. Of course, the X band, or no, 32X. Never mind. 32X seems like a big scam to me. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but uh, I have yet to play anything on it that seems like it was worth the money. Of course, we're all no strangers if we grew up at this era to peripherals that were huge scams. My brother and I had the power glove. What a huge scam. It's the only device in the world that looks cooler. You buy it only because it looks cool. It doesn't actually work. What is this? Uh, they're telling you FTP sites back in the day? What, are you going to share some files? Weird. Fingers was a beast. He's the best. The best there is. I mean, they put him up against me right at the start, so, you know, it was doomed from the start. Of course, we played Scotty Pippin, Slam City, uh, stream uh, a few weeks ago. Check it out in the archive. Uh, extra stupid. I got, I got stuffed like four times in a row, and my confidence was shot. All right, so what am I playing next here? Let's look at the list. Let's bring up the list. Uh, so we can start playing some Saturn games. All right, so Saturn is on the horizon right now. I don't know if it's out yet. 20 games will arrive with the Saturn, according to Sega of America, including 10 from Sega itself. By Christmas, Sega expects 100 games to be available. Holy smokes, that's a lot. Uh, Virtua Fighter is apparently obviously one of them, but Daytona USA is where we're going to go now. Daytona USA at one point in time was about the epitome of good graphics. So it already come out in the arcade maybe a year prior to this. This is the home version now. And we're gonna check it out. Of course I have to fiddle with the, another emulator. 
forgot the damn name of the game. Daytona USA. Okay, so funny story. I worked at an arcade one summer around 97 or 98, and they had Daytona USA in the arcade, which was still a big draw, by the way, which is kind of crazy if you think about that this is 1995, that it's finally out on the Saturn. All right, let's turn you down. Get some Saturn going here. Is it at least... Okay, that's not playing choppy. I wonder why the other one played choppy. It's so strange. I'll have to check it out in the stream. All right, let's turn those off. We don't need those. And we had a friend named Tony who was working with us. And the joke was, I think I'll have to give credit to my uh, friend Kevin. Okay, so hear the song now. Right, Daytona, the big joke. So the game's Daytona, Day <clears throat> Daytona, and so we would yell, Daytoni. Daytoni! It's like a sports, wow, interesting. Oh, that's right. C button is your select button in Japan. Guys, come on, that's crazy. Go to the uh, beginner lap. Automatic. We'll start with that one. Gentlemen, start your engine. Uh, what about the lady drivers? The song. Music in this game is outrageous. So, okay, note the reflection of the clouds on the top of the car. That was a big deal back then. Whoa, what is going on here? All right, that's how you want to start your race. Oh, C button is go. All right. I'm not gonna lie, friends. Can I restart? Is there a restart game? X, Y, and Z. Alright. Acceleration on. C button. Here we go. We're cruising. All right, here's the pro level move. Just slam into your opponent. Whoopsies. But, uh, well, we're a little jacked up now. That's my bad. Now my car's pulling to the right. Whoopsies. I was doing good. Well, C's go. What is break? You're looking good. All right. Apparently B is break. Oh lordy. I have my microphone duck the game, but I feel like maybe I'm ducking it too much. Something to fix next stream, I guess. I will! Shut your GD mouth. All right, not my best lap. My worst lap to date. We gotta do a little better. It's not gonna cut it. All right, let's see if we can do better this time. Ah, da, 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 da. Keep tail hitting the wall. 30th is not, is not cut it, guys. I should hope so. Whoopsies. Can I hit these cones? No. Nope. All right. And we're really blowing it now. I don't feel like I'm too far back. Look at that P is not that far in front of me. I'll go easy on the car. Oh man, I'm not gonna even make it to the next lap, especially if I'm going in the pit here. I don't think it's possible to beat this lap in 15 seconds. Pressure's on. Pit work. Oh dear. All right, here we go, boys. 14 seconds. 13 seconds. All right, I just gotta hit this pylon. Yes, confirmed. All right, these guys are. I'm not, I'm not having it anymore, guys. Turn around, you're heading the wrong way. Turn around, you're heading the wrong way. I am? All right, that was Daytona USA. You placed 40th. 40th. What? They were uh, kind of going for, uh, I don't know, like a Katamari Damacy vibe here. The, um, 
the vibe of Sega at this era. Plenty silly. So that's Daytona USA. This one that they're saying is coming out. Uh, you get the arcade game with its three difficult. Uh, you can also pick a car, or just race length, la la la. Or these prospects. What are the other other games here? We're doing a little Sega Saturn stint here because this is a big deal. Sega Saturn is on the horizon. Um, I won't do Pebble Beach Golf Links even though you guys know I want to play it. Uh, because I played golf last week, Fred Couples, which was amazing. Um, so what we're gonna do? What's the next one on the list? Panzer Dragoon. One of the big deal games for uh, Sega Saturn owners. I'm gonna lower my... We don't need to cut the audio that much. Let's just do 12 dB. All right, how about 12 dB? That's good. Yeah, now the tunes will be a little louder. Um, let's load up some Panzer Dragoon. And it had a sequel, a role-playing game and then a sequel that was very rare. Rare game, Panzer Dragoon. Panzer Dragoon, of course, not super rare. Uh, let's check the chat real quick. Games we played so far. Rockin' dude. Thousands of years have passed since the once thriving human civilization pushed. Oh, I didn't see the. Time goes by passing. All right, I don't need to. Read Nineteen ninety-five. Look at these graphics. If these don't blow your mind, I don't know what will. All right, let's get real. I wonder if these, what these look like uncompressed. Because they have to compress them pretty hard to fit them on the disc. So I'm enjoying the lore of Panzer Dragoon. Kind of reminds me of Shadow of the Colossus, which is I caught myself watching. Yeah, Dogen says killer soundtrack. I'd have to agree, agree here. I like these drums, they remind me of Akira. Which, the band that made the Akira soundtrack, do you guys know they have like a lot of albums? I forget the name too, it's a really long name. What am I looking at here? In 1995, this was blowing our minds. Sick bass, man. Damn. Now the bass is reminding me of Bloodsport. Uh, yeah, I have beaten this game actually. Uh, my friend Lee owned a Sega Saturn and at one point he was grounded from playing video games so he just let me borrow his Saturn for a while. And so I got to play this one good and plenty. Uh, with Daytona USA and Virtua uh, Fighter 2 and he had Virtua Cop as well with the gun I never played Sonic Jam though alright I'll uh, skip this in a second I'm just gonna check the chat real quick games you played the fire okay we're good uh, let's play some games now let's see what the heck's going on they were really going for it that was a that was a big intro and it, I had to stop it it just kept going ah yeah that's bringing back the memories Oh, inverted controls. Hell button is my missiles. I know I'm hitting the wrong button here. Maybe I can't shoot these guys with missiles. I feel like I'm missing something here. All right, where's my controls? Something funny's going on, guys. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't do that before. So you got yourself a bit of a... Whoopsies. Like Star Fox meets 
Well, Star Fox. It's basically a Star Fox game. Here we go. What? I'm all over the goddamn place. Alright, which button is lock on for the love of Christmas? I had it for a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm giving this game the worst demonstration ever, especially since I can't lock on. Do I have to hold the button down? Is that it? Ah, yes. Holding the button down. I'm sure that was driving Dogen absolutely mental. I like how you just do this on the controller and you do a million shots at once. Alright, where am I? Whoa! Are you attacking me from behind? That's a cheese maneuver. You're gonna get the business. I'm sure that's not how the game was meant to be played, but... That's a pro level move if you guys are looking to speed press. Found that out on my Hudson shooting watch. We can get like 300 hits in a minute or uh, 10 seconds. Just absolutely ridiculous speed by doing that. Doing it the real way, I can only get 132. Well, get out of the way of the biter. Gee whiz. <laughs> the only guy in the world is going to die in the first level. This uh, setting reminds me of that. Damn, I can't remember the name of the band. It's Rondo something. All right, what? What is going on here? Am I? All right. I was about to get smashed. Dogan, thanks for the tip. I was a uh, little delay on the chat there. I would have definitely helped, been helped out by that pro tip. I'm surprised I like I tested the game out to see if it would work, and I was doing it while I was testing it out. But for some reason, uh... by the way, can I go backwards? Is that a thing? Oh lordy, oh Jesus, oh lord. Alright, looks like we got ourselves a boss here. And we don't have much health. Oh, he's, he's getting the business. Over here. Alright, I'm not entirely sure what's going on, so I'll let that guy go over there. I feel like there was a way to look backwards. Am I wrong? Oh, there's like a sideways shot. That's right. Oopsies. Oopsies. Who needs your missiles when you got ridiculous super speed pressing? Oops, spinning around like a maniac. Seal the deal. Yep. Oh, I got busted. I got busted being a weirdo. All right, that's uh, that's a good taste of Panzer Dragoon. That was a big deal. That was a Saturn big deal. We got a Saturn player in the chat said this was one of the ones that he played all the time. That was a good soundtrack. Confirmed. You know what else is a good soundtrack? Frickin' Two Crew Dudes. Let's get back to the magazine, see what else they were talking about for Sega Saturn. Uh, where's my magazine? There we go. Panzer Dragoon Bug, I'm not gonna play. Oh, here we go. This is one I'm sure almost no one played, so we're gonna play it, because that's the type of streamer I am. Actively throwing my own fans under the bus. Virtua High Lied? I'd lied. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna play the stupidest game that they could possibly be advertising. Because it's gonna be magic. 
Not as magic as the damn soundtrack. So oddly enough, this was not part of the Virtua series. This is actually, actually called Virtual High Lied. Clockwork Knight, Dogen, I actually played, uh, I think, two streams ago or one stream ago. It was the first uh, Saturn game that they were advertising uh, in GamePro, I think. And so that was why I got to check it out because they're talking about it right now. Um, it's hard to tell, like, exactly. <laughs> get get as hyped. He said he's uh, Clockwork Knight. He said he loved that one also. Um, it was actually, you know, early on for, like, 3D side-scrolling platform. What are they going to do? They actually kind of had to come up with some stuff for what it should look like. Um, and now he says, hyped for virtual high light. That's, ooh, full motion video. See, there was this weird time, guys, in 1995 where, for me, the reason I liked old school games, damn, no expense was spared. Graphics through the roof. Um, 2D games were kind of like com cartoons for me. Uh, especially Mega Man, like he's out there blinking, you know, like a video game. But then we reach this point where like, okay, not only are the, what an intro, late title card. Not only were the cartoon games getting better, like Neo Geo, you know, like they look like cartoons, but they started making real life as well. And they were just kind of like at all fronts making everything, like you're playing everything now. Um, what did I think of Virtual Highlight or uh, Panzer Dragoon? Right, that's a nice way to start the game. Um, so usually we don't play RPGs on the stream, but we're going to play an RPG today because it's about as ridiculous as anything I've ever seen. And the first enemy in the game can almost kill you in one hit. Create a world randomly. Well, at least in the random world I made to test it. I'm not... I'm not hating on this soundtrack. Okay, start me. Here we go. I'm gonna have to figure out the controls again. All jacked up. Yep, that's about as smooth as it plays. So this is full motion video, but in a 3D RPG. So I got my block here and my attack here. Attack on two buttons. What does triangle do? There's your map. I guess I want to... Okay, I want to go to the X. Go forward and to the right a bit. Tank controls. I don't know what my... Okay. Exit. It's, uh, and then one of these buttons also puts my... Oh, can I strafe? <laughs> Looks good. Oh, I already lost where I was supposed to go. Triangle. Uh, I gotta go forward and a little to the right. Are they taking into account this mountain in my way? Can I walk over it? No. Of course not. So this is, you know, it looks like Oblivion, really. Just, uh, my first enemy, a blob. Alright, this enemy doesn't do that much damage. But the trees that come alive do a lot of damage. <laughs> Well, at least they have a little health bar there. That's handy. Uh, is there a run button too? I think there is a run button. Holy Jesus. All right, get your knife out. What are you, some kind of GD nut? Like, on paper, this is an open world RPG but uh, in execution, they used a golf game engine for this, Dogen says. <laughs> That's awesome, actually. Because one thing I always do in the golf games, when I was a kid especially, was I was always like, oh man, I can see houses in the background. Can I hit my ball over there and then see what the house looks like? Oh damn, now we're in trouble. This tree can really mess you up. Let's see if I can block him. Oh lordy. And that is a dead main character. That's two hits. And of course, our life only lasted for two minutes. We can't settle for that. Uh, we got to see what's at the X. That's what we got to do. Darmak and Jalad at Tanagra, my brother says. And he ain't wrong. Shaka, 
when the walls fell? Or uh, his arms unfueled? It's a good episode. Star Trek Next Gen. A couple of Star Trek super fans here. Of course, everyone who's uh, watching this now or potentially in the future, I am planning to do a live stream series of Let's Plays, I guess, for the uh, Star Trek A Final Unity game, which has all of the voice actors uh, the, of the bridge crew reprising their role in 1995. 1995 of all years. Um, all right, let's get running here. Whoa. It's okay, let's avoid the blob. I don't think I'm getting anything fighting these idiots. All right, so I have to mosey on over here. Let's look at that map again. All right, let's beeline it. Don't fight the trees. Blobs be gone. Nice uh, 3D sound uh, design, at least. The blob kind of is to your right when he's blobbing. All right, where's that X? God dang it. Don't make me fight any more trees. All right, I'm in trouble here. A little further. <laughs> they used a golf game engine for this. That's brilliant. Even playing golf games now, you wonder, like, when you... Uns Whoa, sh sh what's going on here? This guy wants a piece? <coughs> kobold. Freaking hate kobolds. They ruin every night of Dungeons and Dragons, I'll tell you that. Um, even on, like, a Sega Genesis game, in a golf game, when you hit the ball and it, it shows you, like, a, a view of where your ball's landing, they must have some sort of 3D creation of the world map on there. You always wonder, why can't you just let me walk around? Because it would look exactly like this. I want to go to the golf pro shop. Hey, we made it. All right. Are you guys excited? Are you guys pumped as heck for this? Because I am. This song is very epic. Oh, I hope they have a new song for the graveyard. That'd be a that'd be an ace maneuver, guys. Oh, yeah. Slap bass, of course. All right. Which one of these tombstones is going to come alive and attack me? This one? Or is it this one? Alright. So far, so good. Damn, whose idea was it to go to the graveyard? What the hell am I looking for in here? Oh, okay. Well, it actually just flat out tells me. Guys, I'm so scared. Oh, zombie bums! <laughs> Sneak attack, zombie attack. Zombies! Alright, what the hell is back here? What am I doing? Alright, this one here. Alright, are we... Am I doing it? I appear to be at the X. Can I investigate? Uh... Item? Can I use an item? Of course, since it's a Sega Saturn, you have to press the C button whenever you want to do something, which is completely strange. Can I use my ring of power? Magical ring with transmit strength. Uh, yawn in here. Uh, whose idea was it to just give this guy a dagger while he walks through this death field full of trees that attack you? All right. I'm starting to sense that they won't be giving me anything. All right. What the hell is this? We'll wrap this one up pretty quick. Friends. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know who you're messing with. I'm pro ace. Oh, you can zoom in on your... No, it's a strafe. I'm so scared. I heard a zombie. Alright, well, it appears like the... Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm ace with the blade. Well, it says there's something over there, but... Whoa, whoa, whoa. A, a double attack. Boys. Show some respect. I'm freaking pro ace at this game. Alright, things are looking good. I'm, I gotta investigate this corner one more time. Why would you tell me to go over here and there's nothing over here? Alright. And there's no story as far as I know. It looks like something's happening. Okay, do I have to put my knife away? All right. All right, all right. Standing right in front of it. Nope. Well, I'm out of ideas. Is there a select button? 
Well, we tried our best, everyone. That's virtual hide light. The, the world's first ever RPG made out of a golf engine. Golf game engine. Oh, speaking of which. This is a soundtrack for Pebble Beach Golf Links on Sega Genesis. And let's see what else we have. We got some more Sega games we can play. Dark Legends. Are they talking about that somewhere on here? Well, if they're not talking about it, I don't want to play it yet. No, they don't talk about it here. Well, why would I even suggest playing it then? Oh, they're already talking about Clockwork Night 2? Jesus. Down here at the bottom, they say, what Sega wouldn't show? Huh. So here we go. Uh, we've played ESPN Extreme. Oh, sorry. Guys, I always do that. Because I have two monitors. I have to turn my head. It's a real hassle. Um, this is, uh, of course, what I was pointing out down here. Clockwork Night 2. They say, uh, we're not going to talk about it. And I don't see that Dark Legends game on here. And it must come up later in the issue somewhere. So then we're talking about the... Uh, Sony PlayStation now, and this is why I didn't have like a, a hard on, if I can use that terminology, it seems crass, but I didn't have the, uh, I wasn't vibing on the PlayStation because this ad right here, like it just did not sell me. Look at this, you're like, whoa, look at all these games, but then you're like, oh, yeah. I guess it's a console coming out. Mm. Oh, I, I guess they have Razor Wing, which by the way, isn't a game, didn't come out, because I checked. What uh, does a new game developer have to say about making PlayStation games? Uh, so they talk about <laughs> N-Space Games didn't even release this game. Very strange. That's okay. This is really early on. The N64 I don't even think came out until June of the next year. But they're already talking about it. And uh, they say there's going to be Killer Instinct on it. Now I know we've played to death Killer Instinct on this stream. But you know what we haven't done? We've never played it on the N64. And that kind of has me wondering what did it look like on the N64. And by the way, using the exact same Top Gun image as before, Nintendo Ultra 64, Ultra Combos. It was a whole tag team partnership here. So we're gonna check it out. Uh, there was a little weirdness with the uh, emulation on the um, bee -dee -dee -dee. Uh, on the N64, so I don't know. I don't know what it actually looked like back in the day. You guys will have to tell me. Was there anything else like it? Uh, just came back from this, or just came back, and this honestly seems pretty sweet for Saturn. Yeah, uh, Dogen's basically referencing uh, Virtual Highlight, and at the time, no, I don't think there was. And it almost feels good, it almost works. There's just something a little jacked about it. I mean, obviously, there's something jacked about it, but you gotta prorate your expectation, right? 1995, that seems like it might have actually been really good. I agree. Oh, wow. It's a two minute behind stream? What the hell? I know Twitch is super fast. I don't know why YouTube lags behind. I I'm sure there's an option I have toggled somewhere. Ugh. Another thing to figure out. Let's uh, see if we can get our N64 on here. Play a little of this. Uh, all right. Is that initializing? I mean, I don't know why emulators try and do something different. Just make it like the other emulators. It's sensible. Um, I guess I have to add it. What the hell's wrong with me? What the heck is wrong with me? Got it. That's not what I want. Get over here. And we can just minimize that. Alright, let's get her started. Let's turn you down. Alright, this one looks a little choppy too. I don't know why. Oh my lord! So they didn't have actual Killer Instinct. They only had Killer Instinct Gold. 
All right, so if anyone's in the chat seeing this, does this seem choppy to you guys? They change Orchid? How dare they? I don't really like this alternate theme song. I guess I'll live with it. Like his hair? Something about that doesn't look right. So this looks super strange to me. Like this doesn't even look as good as the arcade version, which I always thought it had. It must, right? Well, my buttons are all jacked up. I don't feel like configuring them, so I'm just gonna let her try and fight me. Whoa! I'm trying some fancy maneuvers here. See that sick combo? Yeah, the intro to more or, uh, Killer Instinct. Dogen says he loves the theme. You're not wrong. That is an insanely good theme. I think that's my only button that's configured is light punch. Not too choppy. All right. It looks super choppy in my preview, but the game itself should be running at 60 frames, smooth as heck. Uh, a little choppy, but not too bad. All right. Yeah, it's probably not playing the way it's supposed to play. See if I can get a combo going here. Wait, where's my fatality? Don't tell me they took them out on the N64 version. I think maybe when I, uh, I change the screen setting, maybe that's what I need to do. Let's say, hey, go bigger. Now maybe if I make this smaller. That does not need to be that big, because maybe I've uh, up it too high, so it's like, we don't know what you're trying to do. Hey, dude, get reasonable. I'm not going to play a ton of this, I just like to fix this. Another lady, oh my. This song is happening. Look at this rain effect, this is hilarious. This looks so bizarre. I had no idea it looked like this. Now, I'm not sure if that's what N64 games actually look like though, because sometimes the emulators are like, oh, we we fixed it, we up it or did this. Like, no, I don't want you doing that. But I don't have time to actually fix it before the stream. That sick three hit combo. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy, she's giving me the business. Combo breaker! Jesus! I don't even have the announcer saying how big the combo was. That was a letdown. Alright, Fulgore finally met his match in Maya. Guys, she is beating the hell out of me, and my controls are so jacked up that I can't. We're just, this is a, a visual representation of what was to come. Ah, uh, she beat my brains out. Yeah, I guess they got rid of fatalities. That's really zoomed in on the pixels. It seems very strange to me. I'm gonna have to do some investigation on this. N64 is pretty blurry, yeah. Um, but some of that looked sharp too. Like, I think they were running some sharpness stuff on it. Oh, of course I leave the thing on the whole stink of time. Uh, oh no, it was covered. Okay, good. All right, well, uh, okay, let's get back to the reading. So here they go. Remember now, everyone. This was 1995, and they were saying, guess what, guys? Killer Instinct was coming home, and you've played it in the arcade. I've played it twice on this series in the arcade. That was the first time I played it on the home version, uh, not the Super Nintendo version. And so that was what they eventually ended up with. And I'm surprised actually how different it looks than the arcade version now that I've actually seen it firsthand. Batman cards taking up four pages. Imagine how much that would cost. Hot hardware for 1995. Yo, this Jaguar CD is hot hardware. Not only do you have to buy the Jaguar, but go ahead and buy this extra peripheral for it. All right, start just checking the chats right now. No one's on Twitch. No one's ever on Twitch. I don't know how to get the Twitch audience watching. Obviously, I'm, I'm playing something silly here. Not a lot of 
demand for retro games. Let's play some retro games. Uh, this Penn and Teller game is hilarious. I wish I had played it as a kid. I always wanted to play the Desert Bus Tour mode, uh, where you actually have to play eight hours of one screen driving down a desert road. And if you let go of the controller, it just veers you off the road. I wonder if they had a say in that. Um, what else we got here? Okay, I'm saying... Wait, not that one. Next one on the list. It could be time for some 3DO games. We're not sure. Um, we'll keep our eye out. So E3 was big this year. Yeah, they're, they're talking about basically like seven different main consoles. Atari, Jaguar CD should arrive just in time for the show. I wonder if they were laughing at the hardware even, or the Jaguar, even back in the day. There's the, you guys get a load of that console. I wonder if that's what things were like. Um, X-Band, they're talking about Breath of Fire 2, that's kind of cool. I've always wanted to play Solar Eclipse, but we won't do that today. Gex on the 3DO we might have to check out. And we might have to do it right now. I'm not sure. I uh, Do I even have it set up? Well, while we're, while we're checking it out... Oh, sorry, of course, it helps if you can see the magazine that I'm looking at. The whole reason we're here. While you guys are looking at that, I'm going to see if I can get Gex going. Because, man alive, it's like every TV show will talk about it, too. Like, uh, video and arcade top 10, or... Uh, what was that game called? Game Nation. Talk about an anti-gravity room. Oh. Now we're playing with power. Sorry, whenever this theme song comes on, I have to talk like this. I have to talk like Jesse Ventura. All right. You have to do a little configuring here. Browse. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta click the Q file. You gotta click those Qs. Now, the moment of truth. Will Gex play? And it looks like it will. Alright, but it, for some reason it's defaulting to full screen. I did not say go full screen. That's a lot going on right now, everyone. Let's turn that the hell down. Alright, we got some 3DO. Gameplay. Boom, boom. Turn the games off, please. It all started so simply. Gex, everyone. I had just finished my usual morning routine of uh -huh. nude funker size. What? Fired up the Barca lounger, grabbed a quick bite to eat, and prepared to watch some serious tube. As one does. Little did I know that my snack was sent by Rez. I guess these graphics were pretty mind-boggling at the time. You are mine. <laughs> oh no! Gex! Hey, well, there's one thing. If you're gonna watch some serious tube, that's, uh, that's as serious as it gets. I'd, I'd say he's in a bit of a serious situation right now. Got attitude on the three D. Someone some manners. Uh, where am I? Where I? Ow! I hurt my finger. I just. Is it? Are we going? Is Gex happening? Is the Gex happening? <laughs> it is. Look at this weird pixel version. Enter level, stand in front of a working TV, and then the big thing with Gex is that it was everything was TV themed, but I don't think they were based on any specific TV themes. Okay, so do I have to play this one then? All right, I guess we're playing Cemetery. That's a weird first level. Holy lord! Oh, so it's like Cemetery World. Frankie in hell, and hell. All right, all right, Gex. Let's see what you got. What is this? Good soundtrack. High quality drum samples. Find level remote controls to turn on new TV. Okay. Oh, I can't do anything to that guy. 
Oh, I have to tail whip him. Okay. Shoulder buttons do anything? No. Okay. What do I... I can't. There we go. Tail whip power balls for one health point or eat them up for special power-ups. Oh, man. I would have gone for a special power-up there. All right. Do we do like a tail downward tail? All right. Now what? Do we have wall jumps? All right. That's classy. Classy move. Hold down the run button to get extra speed. Well, which button is run button? Let's see? No. Is it one of the... No. I don't know which button is the run button. That's probably going to cost me. I'll take this and this and this. Gex has so much attitude. Whoa, guillotine. All right, is it... Oh, we found it. It's L1. Whoopsies. That's one of the problems of this stream, finding out the control scheme. We did it. All right, can we climb over here? Yeah, secret power-ups. Here we go. Hey. It's tail time. Man, I crushed him. Can I eat that for a power up? That. All right. What's our power up? I don't know what my power up is, guys. Oh, no. oh see that sick move. Oh, I almost died there. And now I am dead. That's the problem, though. Like, this is just... What's my power-up? I want to do some sick moves. Okay, he kind of has, like, Grant... Hen or, what? Grant... What's that character from? Ah! Uh, yo, is that a TV I gotta get? Um, he has Grant powers from... Oh, that was a bomb, actually. And nice of them to hide it behind that thing on me. Grant from Castlevania 3 could climb on walls. Like, if I do this, I think I stick to the wall. That's kind of a nice touch. So they had some maneuverability here that was very uncommon at the time. Oh. All right, well, can I get this thing first? Oh. Holiday snaps. Very good. Tail whip cameras to take a snapshot of your progress. Oh, yeah, we can do that. All right, we're just beelining for the ending now. Let's go. What does a boss look like in Gex? It's going to be a... One of these days, they're just going to smash me with something stupid at the bottom. Hey. It's too spooky, guys. All right, what do they say here? Pull, pull down while jumping to tail bounce on enemies or blocks. Hold the jump button and push up afterwards for super spring. All right. I don't, I don't know if I got the super spring correctly. Not this time. What does it say? Stick to walls or jump and push up to stick to walls and surfaces. All right. Well, here's a full house. Uh -huh -huh. Have I been able to do this the whole time? All right, the only thing he's missing is a double jump. Does Gex have a double jump? Stand in front of the exit TV and press up to exit the next level. All right. Gex, everyone. Playing Gex. I will say that, uh, it seems... Reminds me of Ed tapping his birthday keg. Uh, seems unusual. The quality is high. 1995, I'll say it's high. Can I just get to the boss? Where the hell is the GD boss? Let's go. Oh, I have to play them in sequential order. But I won't, I won't say that this is, like, okay, the audio is pretty high level for the era. But the gameplay is not as good as Super Mario World, which had come out like four years earlier than this. 
I guess he he had attitude though. That was big back in the day. God, more. All right, wait. This is the level we already did. Oh yeah, yeah it's tail time. Is there any way to leave this level? All right, well, I think we've reached the limit. Wait, can I bounce on him? Yeah. There's my power up. Oh yeah. Got my eyes. I can't see. It's tail time! Okay, that's Gex. Alright, I'm glad I played that. Now I know. Now I know what the hell was going on. So what? Let, let's look at the magazine. I want to see what they're saying. Lethal Enforcers. Um, Crystal Dynamics. Crystal has Gex appeal. <laughs> uh, see Pro Review. Oh, they do a review on it. The gecko with an attitude leads the 3DO offerings, but Crystal Dynamics is going Saturn in a big way with champions. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. Oh, crunching my head with these headphones. What else we got here? Odd that they would be like, "Hey, guess what? Minnesota Fats is coming out for PlayStation and Saturn." Like, you guys actually dedicated a, one of your precious screen grabs to it? Uh, I can't blame them. Um, did I shrink my list? Oh, wait. You guys can't see what I'm seeing. Uh, all right. So we went to the next page. Uh, now for people that saw the first time I did this magazine where I wasn't actually playing issues, here's a game, 47 Tech, which didn't end up coming out until later. Um, if at all. I think it was still just prototype. But look at this picture right here. And you just know... With all that hindsight, there is no way a game from 1995 would look like that. But I remember distinctly seeing this picture in the magazine going like, that's that looks like the best graphics ever. And so, very clever because you showed me that picture and that's why I was a Saturn boy, right? I was like, Saturn is the one you gotta go with. I mean, look at this game coming out. This game's gonna be insane. Dare I play yet another fighting game on the stream? God damn. Am I tanking my own stream? I'm kind of wanting to play Dark Legends here. Um, we did some Saturn games already. But you guys let me know. If you guys want to see Dark Legends, I'll check it out. Otherwise, I'll keep going. Damn, this song is happening. What game is this? I forget. Ah, that's right, Hybrid Fun. They say in the name of the song. Cyber Sled we played last week. That was really good. Tekken, just killer. For some reason, these weren't these weren't calling my name. When I saw this issue, and again, they're talking about Weapon Lord. What, guys, Weapon Lord has been in the last four issues. That's enough with Weapon Lord. I really tried to get the Philips CDI working uh, this week, but I didn't have time. Here's one that we're going to check out. We're going to check out some PlayStation games with Assault Rigs. This is a game I had on a demo disc, I think, that came with a game I rented. And I thought it, it was awesome. It was really fun. And then never rented it. So, I mean, my bad. My bad. Past self. I'm going to play it now. That's what I got to say. The song is happening. Um, did I even? No, I haven't extracted yet. I am the worst. So now this is happening. You guys are gonna jam to this tune while I sift around this folder like a loser. Worst streamer award goes to me, of course. So hard on yourself. Oh, I had it. I've already extracted it. Okay, well then I just have to find the full. All right, condemnation rescinded. God damn, the song is happening. All right, we got to go to the NTSC folder. This always reminded me, obviously, of um, uh, Tron. You guys remember that all the tank scenes in Tron? That's basically what we're about to play. Hell yeah, salt rigs. Here we go. Why is this a little off-center? All right, that's better. Oh, that's not going to do. That's not going to cut it. Is that going to cut it? Maybe? Is it glitching on me? Did I glitch the matrix? You ever eat tasty wheat? Damn, this brings back the memories of just a, a demo disc. Why, why do I have nostalgia for a demo disc I played once? Nostalgia is a weird thing, everyone. 
loading screens. They were still figuring it out. Loading screens, you got me. I can't. I can't. Here we go. Tron. With techno. I feel like we didn't get to hear that rad song. Choose your tank. We'll be the red one. I have no reason not to be the red one. Welcome. That's your password for level one. My, ooh, they have strafing. Standard ammo. Can I rotate my... No, okay. You have to move with your shot. Ooh, damn. This is way faster than I remember it. Whoa, they're already coming after me. Oh, no, 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 no. Smashed him. Got nice of them to put the logo on every wall. <laughs> That's really cheesy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I already good to like exit the level? Can I shoot through the walls like No. What a ripoff. Do I have to just hit this wall? Is that what they want me to do? It's kinda weird. Let's drive into this wall. Man, they are using the acid base liberally. Weird design. You hear a song for two seconds and it's just chopped out. Not that I'm ripping on them, it's just, you know, there was design, design aesthetics back in the day. They were not what we have now. Oh, sneaky. You guys remember the game Ghost in the Shell for PlayStation? That's one I would like to play. I actually owned that. You could, it was basically this, only you could eventually go on the walls and upside down. Which I'm almost doing here. I mean, I'm sure, uh oh. Now I'm in trouble. Oh, here we go. Can I change my ammo? No. All right, sticking with standard ammo for now. Some of these laughy faces over here. All right, we gotta enter the red zone. Candy cane land. Nothing says tank combat more than candy cane land. All right, is there anything in here? Why am I over here? Can I just exit? No, it's not ready yet. Oh, jeez. You can push these around. Well, that is not ideal. All right. Let's go over here. It controls really well while also being very, like, slidey and weird. Like, if you're... Feels like if you're touching the walls, you're you're gonna be in trouble. But um, other than that, it actually controls really well. Whoa, 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 whoa! All right, we got some new ammo now. Can I change to another ammo? No. All right. Well, we're stuck with this. Yeah. Uh, I was in Candy Cane Land, right? Red one? No. No, 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 no. Did it. Assault rigs, everyone. Maybe we'll let this song play out for a bit. Someone had to write it, right? I'm your fire farter. Not just any farter. I think we get the gist of Assault Rigs. That was basically a launch title, I guess. Very strange. Turn the tunes up. I always make them quiet. Crazy Ivan was an early game, too. Very strange. 
And of course, Demolition Derby was called Demolish Um Derby at this point. Very weird. Maybe they just like mistranslated what they were saying. Like, yeah, it's Demolition Derby. You mean Demolish Um Derby? No. No, I don't. Alright, maybe that's a little loud. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. 3DO was not only out and about at this time, but they were also going to do an update called the M2, which was going to be like their like Xbox 360 upgrade, you know, like the next big thing. It was a new engine, and uh, they were going to have some stuff for that. Okay, well, here we go. We're talking 3DO at the moment. This game, Blade Force, I remember seeing ads for Blade Force, and I think I even see, saw commercials for it, and it looked amazing to me. And it was the one where I'm like, the 3DO is the ultimate console. It's the console of our generation. So, good news, we can check it out. And we are going to check it out. And we'll decide if it is still the game of the generation. Not the Sega Saturn generation, but the generation before. Was this the most high-tech game at the time it had come out? I don't know. The most high tech Sega Genesis song that had come out at the time? We also don't. My brother's asking, did I have any friends who had these other consoles? None of his friends did? Nope. Uh, you had you had your friend John who had the Sega CD. That's even more high tech than I did. I uh, No one I knew had anything other than Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis. Which is uh, weird, right? Um. I worked with a girl when I worked at the video store who said she had a 3DO growing up, and that seemed really bizarre to me. She was a little older than me, but even still, like, what, your, your parents actually bought you the 3DO? Like, that's... They bought her this at 1995. You could have been playing this. Alright, I don't know why it's defaulting to be full screen again. I'm gonna stop that right in. Stop it! Alright, we're gonna check out Blade Force. Blade Welcome Force for 3DO. To Mega Grid. The year is 2110. Chaos, Hell yeah. Mayhem and destruction rule. And the oh my lord. A city taken over by crime lords like Terrence Pitt. Oh, Terrence. Look at these graphics. 1995. Iron fist. Bite me. Steel Attitude. Assistance. Oh, sexy ladies. Biometallurgical experiment gone bad. Pyromegaly. This escapee from an insane asylum uses napalm to spread his rage. Oh my god. Call the Blade Force boobs! Popular with the ladies. Oh yeah. Ecstasy is the undisputed designer drug kingpin. Reverend Biatch. She may be blind, but this spiritual televangelist. They are going for it. Doomsday hysteria to steal your money. This is a lot of enemies. Two head. This failed surgeon deals in defective cloned body parts. Someone's got to stand up and put a stop to this. Easy lawyer only represents criminals. Call the Blade Force. They must be stopped. Am I a vigilante? With the help of Dr. Gruber, you will take to the sky, seek out your enemies, and destroy them. The fate of Mega Grid relies on your skill and courage. Sorry, everyone. These criminal forces. You must take back the city. I'm excited for this. By force. Am I allowed to be doing this? This seems wrong. And I ain't hating it. New game. Now, uh, unfortunately, don't get your hopes up too high because I don't know how to get through the first level. So we're all just going to be able to check out kind of what it looked like, not necessarily all that Before fun stuff. Before you start, here are some things you need to know. Okay. Dr. Gruber set up a training mission. Oh, come on. Just dive me in. I'm ready for it, Doctor. We've been playing games like this for 20 years after this. I'm ready. Coach, I'm ready. Let me just go. All right. Well, we get to play the training mission for Blade Force. Oh, that's a shame. The uh, audio's a little jacked. It's fine, because it was mostly, like, the look of it. 
Oh, that is a really big shame. When I was testing it out earlier, I was testing it out with the speakers off. That's what you get. It's fine, since we're only playing the training mission. What do you guys want me to do here? Dr. Grubert, what do you need me to do? Does this thing blow up? Is this a blow up wall? Look at this. This is really high level, though. It plays pretty smooth, too. I don't know if you guys are seeing it smooth. For some reason, every time I zoom in on something, it looks awful on your screen. Okay, what do you want me to do? It's training mission. What do you want me to do, Doctor? Is there anything on the radar that I need to go get? Boss objects. Just get you. That's the key. All right, we found the key. That opens up this door. We're, we're humming now. Doc, what do you need? Get the Doc Cube. All right, we beat the level. Sweet. Can I just... Can we get to the actual level? That would be awesome. I'm subjecting everyone to some pretty ridiculous audio glitches here. All right, we're just going. We're going for it. I'm sick of you guys and your weird surgical surgeries. Is this the guy I'm fighting? How dare you? This audio sounds like someone is trying to communicate with me on like Call of Duty or something. Not ideal, everyone. Hang with me. It's 1995. This was as best as they could do. I got some health. Get your pickups. Oh, you just hold the button down? Jesus Christ. That's way faster. Um, yeah, this is basically pandemonium in my speaker. And I'm sure it's not very nice in your speaker either. Yo, get that fuel. Or the blade force. Call the blade force. Whoa, dude. Looks like Xandar should be down here. I can put my arm back on. You can't. We're going in. Can I get in there? Down there? No? Alright. No, you can't. This is getting out of control. Nothing's on the radar, though. Like, what do you guys want from me? Alright. We're uh, basically just a... Are we the bad guy, everyone? Is Blade Force the bad guy? Because it seems like he's the only one blowing stuff up. It's a rock and roll heavy metal music. Alright, well, that's about it for Blade Force. I don't want to subject you guys to too much of this. It is very fascinating as, like, a timepiece, though. In 1995, I remember seeing this on TV on, like, one of the game video game TV shows where they show you games and stuff, and it's just thinking, like, that looks like the coolest game ever made. Playing it now, it actually does hold up pretty well from a gameplay standpoint. It controls really well. Can I get over this wall? No, they did have some limitation. Uh, the music in the, you know, opening intro, they were going for it. They were going big. They were going as big as you can get. And I applaud them for their effort. All right, keep coming back to this song. Get real. All right, what else do we have on the list? On the big list, we're uh, we're humming. We're playing a lot of games today. Um, here's one. Obviously, I want to show you guys Killing Time. Okay, fine. I'm gonna show you guys Killing Time because of the damn picture that was always in Game Pro. This picture, this freaking clown picture. Sorry, this freaking clown picture. That was it. Like, I gotta play that. That looks crazy. That looks like the best graphics ever. Is it? We'll see. And then we're gonna check out, uh... What's that basketball game there? Slam and Jam! Which is actually the bit I played really good. A good basketball game. Hopefully, Killing Zone... Killing Time. Not Killing Zone. I played that in an early stream. Great game. Uh, Alright, let's just get to it. Killing time. Baseline's out of hand. I'm sure this will open up full screen again. Wait, I have to launch with... Yeah, that'll do. Better. 
play full screen off. I'm off the rocky coast of Maine, heading toward the island of Matinicus alone. My Egyptology professor, Dr. Hargrove, was always recounting his trips to Northern Africa in the 1930s and his search for a mystical water clock from the dynasty of the Pharaoh Ramses. Really going for it. The clock supposedly had powers to grant everlasting. We don't need to show you that. This is like a full motion-y kind of game. Um, uh, uh? Lasting life. Oh. Alright. This is kind of weird. Kind of jarring going from full motion video to like a pixel theme. Or pixel motif here. But that was it. Back in the day. Uh, Harrop. Yep, that's my name. Enter your, your name here at Harrop. All right, audio's a little jacked here. That's unfortunate. I know, depending on the emulator you use, you can get better audio, so we won't play much of this. Jesus. I'm gonna need you to the dock. So this was the theme here. A lot of, like, full motion video cutscenes. Get out of here, you two. All right, these are the type of games that are played better... Um, ...without audio. Unfortunately. You know what we're gonna do? I wanna see a little further in this damn level. Oh wait, I can't turn the audio off on it. Alright. You know, we might have to debut killing killing time another day when I actually figure out how to get it to play. It controls super strain. Headphones are tight. All right, that's not working. It's not working for me. What we're gonna do instead? We're gonna play that basketball game. <laughs> Slam and jam. Well, we have to find in the magazine first. Where the heck is Slam and jam? You guys talking about Slam and jam somewhere? Look, there's that picture of the clown zoomed in. Look at this. Look at this freaking clown. Um, I was gonna check this out too. I don't know. If you guys have a preference, let me know. Uh, we're not having a lot of luck with playing the audio on 3DO games. Did this have a cartoon? I feel like it did. Skeleton Crew. Exo Squad was a great cartoon. I watched it a lot. I think it was made by the exact same people that did Conan the Barbarian. Because this guy had the same voice as Conan. Same voice actor. Um... Oh man, I wish I could have got this working. It does look pretty cool. Especially, like, I never saw Backdraft. Guys, do I need to see Backdraft? Why didn't I see Backdraft? Ugh, Chaotix. I uh, tested that out on the stream yesterday, or last week, um, to see if it would work. We didn't end up playing it, and uh, I know why now. Because it's awful. It's not even fun awful. It's like, the first level is basically just shoving down your throat the mechanics? They were still figuring it out back then, I guess. Like, we we gotta show people how to play the game, but we don't have to do it without ruining the game. Stargate on Sega Genesis. We played last week. Now we got Stargate on Super Nintendo. It's uh, a lot of Stargate. Kyle Petty's No Fear Racing. That looks hardcore, actually. Look at this game. That looks good graphics. Oh, you can make your own levels? I always appreciate that. Nice feature. Way to go, Kyle Petty. Fatal Fury Special. We well, already played a Fatal Fury, so we don't necessarily need to do another. Super Nintendo Star Trek Deep Space Nine. And, man, there was a lot of caveman games for Super Nintendo. Or for the, just this era. There was, like, Chuck Rock. There was the one Big Nose, was that his name? And there was another one, and then this one. That's four caveman games. Oh, caveman games. Ooh, okay, we're gonna play this, guys. Galaxy Fight. Now, there is actually, uh... I owned a Game Players magazine that had an ad for Galaxy Fight in it. And it shows a cutscene of the ninja guy, and he has a... Like, samurai sword that goes through his cufflink for some reason. And it's cool. And if there's one thing we want to do on this stream is show you cool games. Not objectively terrible games. We're gonna try that now. 
see if I can play a cool game for you. I don't know if it's a good game. I always wanted to check it out. So now we're going to check it out together. Galaxy. Galaxy Fight Universal Warriors. Okay. Another Neo Geo game, of course, so... Funny load-up screen. Let's click on it. Galaxy Fight. Man, I always wanted to play this game. Uh, of course, we're going to be the ninja. Industry standard. Space! The villain! Round one! Fight! Fight! Oh my god, I'm getting blasted right away. <laughs> All right. Oh man. Got my dragon punch on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alvan. Oh man, it's close. Oh, that was a risky play. And I blew it. Oh, time up. Hey, I took it. Sorry, a lot of fighting games on the stream today. Oh, he got me. He got me. Oh man, I got him the full damage there. Oh dear. Alright, good sweep kicking. I do notice that the ninja characters in games are always kind of like the hardest ones to play. Like the ninja guy in Virtua Fighter? Impossible. Like, I don't know what his moves list is, but. Alright, post match here. Gotta seal the deal here. I let Alvin get too much damage in here. Alright, fine. Fine, Alvan. You can take it. Add it up to here with your uh, poor attitude. Alright, alright, alright. We gotta do some makeup here. Dash move. Oh man, he blocked it. That's my one weakness. Blocking. Oh lordy, I haven't even done any damage yet. All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I don't think there's a limit to how far the map can go. Oh, I tried to dash in on him. Oh, that's not gonna. That's not gonna end well for me. Oh, big whiffer. Jesus. It's actually a pretty hard game. I do want to win a match, though. I want to see that cutscene. My cufflink sword. I'm the villain? That's an attitude on you, kid. All right. Nothing like uh, some slap bass to get you reinvigorated here. I wonder if they had a gravity stat there. I wonder if different levels have different gravity. That would be interesting. Oh, lordy, what a start. That's a little unfair that he can go right through my fireball. Now I figured him out. Oh, he double drop kicked me. Alright, Alvan. Whoa, wrong move. Damn, I let him bring it back, and he's gonna get me now. Alvin, I can't beat you. Oh, no, 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 just time out. 
That's all we need. Backflip. 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 Hi. Alexei Mironov. Well, that's the first super chat I've ever got. Thank you, Alexei. You're very cool. He says, hi, Matt. Love your music. Best wishes from Russia. That's amazing, man. You know, uh, funny story. Um, just about Russia. The only... The only Russia that I have, the only Russia story I have is, um, I sometimes, uh, frequent Russian torrent websites because sometimes they have films on there, like movies, like My Girl. They, for some reason, my wife and I had to watch, like, a Polish rip of My Girl because they had it, um, and they had my discography on a Russian torrent website, which I downloaded in its full because they had it organized better than my own computer's file had. Um, so the Russians, man, I appreciate you. You guys, uh, you guys have a good archival nature to you. As a people, I will generalize the entire, entire country. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that. Super chats, who? That's the first one I've ever got. You're a very... I'm gonna remember your name. Alexei Mironov. Round three, fight! I appreciate you watching the stream, too. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I'm a musician that's... Streaming video games now, like uh, you know, I'm just kind of trying to keep the content going. You know, gotta gotta keep your uh, you gotta keep yourself out there, or else you end up just disappearing. So it's hard to do that with just audio because um, with just audio, uh, you know, you don't really have. It takes a long time to make audio. So oh, you're gonna laser beam me. Yeah. Um, I also I on that same Russian torrent. Uh, I've. I've had to Google Translate what they said to see, like, well, what, did they like the music, or...? Ah, oh, son of a gun. Man, if I don't beat Al Van this time... Oh, now we're doing it. Oh, he's gonna run away. Cheesy! Al Van, we need to do this! Oh, he's gonna finish me with a backbreaker. Good lord, and he KO'd me, too. Lord. That's funny, Alexei. The uh, I've also on on that very same Russian torrent website. I actually downloaded a bunch of Russian cartoons from like the 70s and 80s. There was like some really good stuff in that uh, in that era. And I watch them. They're not in English. Round one, fight. Does he have a unicorn horn? I gotta beat this guy. He's kicking my butt. But I gotta beat this guy. I gotta do it for Alexei. That's. Oh lordy. Alright, I'm playing too aggressive. That's the problem. Oh, can you air fireball? Oops. And well, when you try, you get yourself shot out of the sky. I gotta close the distance here. He's way over there. Look, he blocked my whole three hit combo and then he air shoots me out of the sky. Oh, now we're coming back. Now we're coming back. Oh, we're losing it again. Oh, lordy, no! Damn. <laughs> tried hard. I tried hard on that one. Alright, well, this will be the last match of this guy, anyways. I gotta get into this thing where I can start dragon punching him from behind. Now we're talking. Oh, hell yes. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, there's no air juggles. Oh, I had that lead and I blew it. No, 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 no. All right, we took him. Yeah, the, uh, the thing I like about what the Russian cartoons then were doing is they weren't trying to do what Disney did or what the cartoons in the West or the cartoons in Japan were doing. Like, they were creating cartoons from scratch, which is very, uh, you know, it's a cool thing to be doing. Some of them look really distinct. Ah, oh, he backhanded me. Oh, this is the one. This is the one crew. All right, if he wants it, he's gonna have to come and get it. I'm not. I'm not messing with this kid anymore. Oh no no no! He figured me out. 
Oh, Lordy, no. Well, there goes that lead. I cannot believe. Oh, and then I blew it. We're never going to see that cutscene, everyone. That's the end. The end of fighting games as we know it. That's pretty, pretty good game, though. I like the, the dashing. The dashing was a nice touch. All right, you win. You win, Alvan. Ah, what a ripoff. Um, Alexei, if you're still in the chat, what uh, what sort of tunes uh, are you a Norn Rad fan or a Matt Creamer Audio fan? I know I kind of have a, a long history with uh, internet and uh, Norn Rad music. I've been making music under Matt Creamer for the last couple years, uh, just because I, I felt like Norn Rad was mostly like the chiptune stuff. So it's like, all right, as long as I'm making chiptune stuff, we'll call it Norn Rad. Anything else we'll call Matt Creamer Audio. Recently, I started doing um, uh, synth music as well, which I go by the name Recursive Eons for. Um, because I can't keep it straight. Everything's got to be a little weird. Uh, Toe Jam and Earl we're listening to right now. Of course, uh, it helps if you guys can see the magazine I'm looking at. So that was Galaxy Fight. They said that was a 4 and a 4. With a control of 3.5. I wonder why they gave that a bad control. It seemed like it was actually pretty good to me. It was a little swimmy, though, like there was some inertia on your character. But I appreciate that. Uh, Joof's in the chat on Twitch. I haven't seen that in a while, so let me go back and see what he's been saying. Uh, uh, he says, why do I think the 3DO failed? Um, just no name brand, maybe? Um, this is epic as frick. Uh, what the frick? Always pick the character that has the OP uppercut. Always. Uh, there's always one. Ken. Always do Ken. Um, the 3DO, I'm not sure if the 3DO necessarily failed. I just think it couldn't compete long enough to, uh, like, I think it got edged out really savagely by this. Like, look at the cover of this magazine. Like, PlayStation, Sega Saturn, they're coming out, and they're coming hard. And there's just no way they could have com competed with those consoles. Because they, they, they took all the lessons. Here's what I think. Like, I think the 3DO made a lot of mistakes. And, um... Uh, I think the Sony PlayStation and the Sega Saturn saw those mistakes and said, well, let's just not make those mistakes. So they took all those lessons and they moved forward and the 3DO kind of was stuck holding the bag with these mistakes. And uh, they were going to expand with the M2, which was like going to be the 3DO2 basically. But, uh, you know, the money just wasn't there because like, that's kind of like when you compete with uh, a really popular streamer, if you're on at the same time as them, like why would anyone watch your stream unless they have two monitors? And back in the day, no one had enough money to buy two consoles. So they're like, ah, we got to make a choice right now and it's not going to be you, 3DO. So they, uh, they just then didn't end up um, uh, moving forward with anything. Um... Let's see what else we got. Because, yeah, it was doing well enough to, like, it was well received in that it was in these magazines a lot. Uh, this song is not really doing it for me. Let's hear some... Let's go back and hear some... Golf Magazine presents 36 Great Holes starring Fred Couples. That's right. Hey, everyone. We're listening to some good old Sega Genesis music here. Brought to you by the 32X. Gex on the 30 or 3DO got a 5 in fun factor. I don't know if that's actually warranted. But I do recall seeing this ad back in the day and thinking, well, they get the best games. Damn it. I don't have that. I don't have the best games. They said it had a 5 in sound. I will grant them that. That is a 5 in sound game for 1995. Uh, graphics, 4.5. Oh, the cutscenes. Maybe they're, you know, taking that into account. Cutscenes are really good. Oh, these cutscenes are really good. That's, this takes me back. Looking at this going like, is this the best? Because they're basically saying it's the best. I debated whether or not I should play this game on stream. I don't think I will. Um, just because there's no way I can make this fun or worth, worth playing. But interestingly, note, all fives. Guys, control. There's no way this game has a five in control. That's just silly. Because if I recall, it's like you push the button to move forward and it takes you to the next screen entirely. And then you have to stop and push like left or right or something at that point. You can't give a game five in control that has that little control. Unless they're talking about the menus? I think this was just one of those games where they're like, look, it's a really good game, so we're going to give it five and everything, okay? Just don't fight us on this. All right, fine. Jaguar. Hover Strike. Do I have any Jaguar games on the list anymore? I don't know if this one's on the list. 
I wanted to I wanted to get a little of everything on this. What do we have? Any Jaguar? Hover strike. It is on the list. I didn't test it. Should we test should we test out hover strike? It says it's got a two in control. 2.5. 2.5 everyone. 5 is important. Alright. I didn't plan on doing this. And this could go real wrong. But if I don't, who will? Right? Oh yeah, there's no there's no fade out on these tracks because I had to rip them myself from the game. I was that impressed. Listen to this bass. That's Fred Couples himself on the synthesizer. If this song doesn't get you guys pumped up for Hover Strike, then I don't know what will. I don't know what's going to happen at this point. Um, sorry, I have to find it in my f labyrinth of emulators. Uh, the Jaguar's just not very well emulated, so we'll see if this we'll see if this one plays. Some games play just fine, fine enough to demonstrate. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Hover strike! All right, we're gonna have to turn off these great tunes for potentially silly, crappy tunes. Only time will tell. For some reason, you have to insert the cartridge twice. I don't make the rules here, everyone. Hover Stray, 1995, the Atari Corporation. What's that kick drum? Yep, that sounds good to me. We might as well just upturn a bowl and... Um, we'll probably go easy mode because it's probably a jacked game that doesn't work properly. Yo, dope. Dope string samples, man. Two power turbines which provide energy for enemy outposts throughout the region have been located in this sector. Knock out both turbines and defend yourself against the Terrakian floaters. Prepare to launch. I'm prepared. I've been preparing my whole life for this. And yeah, it's, about, it's about as I expected. It's broken. And we got a jacked up game. It's weird that like the games will work all the way up until this point and then just not work. But, good thing this sick soundtrack works. I'm gonna let this song play out while I figure out what we're playing next. This is what I get for going off script anyways, by the way. Oh no, this was on the script. Um, you know what? I really want to check out this Wayne Gretzky game because I've been talking a lot of yang about Wayne Gretzky games. But, uh, maybe there is a good one out there. I don't know. I keep talking yang, but they gave this one a good score. So let's see what they say. Skipping ahead, the great one scores on Genesis, and they said 4, 4, 4, 4.5. 4.5 in fun. Uh, as you can see here. In the sports page, Wayne Gretzky gets his own sports game. It seemed like that was a big deal, or a thing they did a lot back then. Like, hey, you're a sports star, you get your own game. Alright. Brett Hall already had his own game. Apparently Mario Lemieux has his own sports hockey game. I never played it. I don't even remember it. All right, uh, what are we doing here? Smarten up. Start acting like responsible adults. Um, gotta open up that. Hope we're all enjoying these tunes, by the way, because they're amazing. Not a hint of sarcasm. Uh, what's it called? Is it actually called Wayne Gretzky? Yeah. Wayne Gretzky and the NHL PA All-Stars. Let's close this for the love of Christmas. And let's get ourselves, let's get our Wayne Gretzky on. Time Warner. I don't know about this. Risky play. Wayne Gretzky. 
happening? I don't know why it's making my screen so choppy. It's like I can't handle how awesome this is. Let me see if that's actually just... I come back to being smooth here? Yeah, and when I go here, yeah, I get all choppy. Wayne, you're breaking my stream. Ah, okay. This is actually, uh... They're going for it. Nice, uh, skating physics here. Am I one-handing this? This is just nuking my stream. So they're going the Blades of Steel route here. Oh, dude. These are Evo strats. I'm headed there this year. We're going to be playing this. Fine, win the face-off. Oh, man, I am beating the hell out of these guys. Penalty by Theron Penalty. Flurry. Booking. Two, Two minutes. minutes. Accurate. Here we go. Big shot, big shot. I know there's fighting in this game, which is funny because it's a Wayne Gretzky game. I kind of want to see the fights. Ugh. Maybe the way to do that is probably to punch the goalie. Especially off screen. Alright, 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 alright. I tell you, this is actually not that bad. What? Can I... Where's the... Is that Doug Gilmore? What team am I playing? It's not that bad. Oh, he got up. Alright, we're gonna see when I play the game, or play the stream back, if it is actually playing choppy. If it is, I, I gotta figure out what's going on here. Save, unreal. Holy lord, look at that shot. Yo, where's the fighting? Let's go. This is the non-stop punching sound effect. Still winning the game. Let me get a fight with Theron Flurry. The uh, hockey AI is not that accurate. Good save. Oh, I'm Toronto for some reason in red. That's not, that's not accurate. I wonder if that was a thing where they're like, look, we can't give you the actual colors because then we'll get sued. The Calgary is not necessarily a yellow and maroon team. Oh, that's a big one. I don't know how you could actually play like a whole game of this, though. It's already wearing a little thin. But this is basically like next-gen level Blades of Steel. I can appreciate that. Uh, a save. Right. This is playing very choppy. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, we'll see what the heck was going on after the stream. Look, it's something in my thing right now that's playing. Was it RetroArch? Was that it? Testing, testing. Uh, Kega. Uh, like I got like five emulators open. That that could explain what's slowing everything down. All right, you know what? We got to do a quick test right here, right now, while we're on stream. Was that the reason everything was being slow? Wayne Gretzky's coming back. And we're just going to have Kega open. All right, let's fast forward it into the game. Oh, it's way smoother. Oh, guys, come on. Well, I appreciate you guys sticking, sticking with me for this choppy stream. 
That's a lesson for the future streamers out there. Don't leave every one of your emulators open in OBS. Um, and just, just because they're not open, because that'll slow your stream down. Let's just see if this, I gotta be 100% sure. Let's be 100% sure. Yeah, damn it, that's way smoother. Alright, well, as you guys can see, the game does play a lot smoother. Alright, I feel justified. I hope the whole stream wasn't like that. Good lord. What a terrible stream. Uh, so Alexei in the chat saying he discovered me when uh, searching for tutorials, did a quick review for Arturia DX7, and after that, listen to Venture Kid album, energetic, masterful, and have a spirit of the NES tunes. Thank you very much. That's great. That was, uh, that was, at the time, Arturia did not send me a uh, review copy of that. I would, I just bought it and I was like, you know what? I, I love fiddling around and noodling around with um, synthesizers, so I'm just going to do a video for this. Like, I need something to do a video on, and it, it helps if you know what you're talking about, and I know... I like synths, so I'm going to talk about synths. And uh, that one ended up being the video that got the most views ever that I've ever made. Wow. Um, and so I've, I've done some videos for Arturia since then. I actually sent them that video and said, like, would you guys care to uh, send me a not-for-resale edition of some things and I'll make more videos for you? And they were happy to do that. And I was like, wow, who knew that that was a thing that happens? Um, but yeah, Venture Kid, if you like um, the NES stuff I've done, uh, there is also, uh, what do I got here? Boom. On Bandcamp, there's uh, Slay in One way down here at the bottom. That came out before Venture Kid. Uh, that's NES uh, Anomaly there at the bottom, also on my Bandcamp uh, for Mac Cream Radio, is a original NES death metal album that I made with vocals, uh, which is purely ridiculous. Um, there's also Treasure Buster here, which is um, Treasure Buster is a uh, Sega Genesis chiptune album I made. Which is also pretty damn slamming. Um, and I'm also, like, hint, hint, uh, no one should know, working on some other NES chiptunes for another project at some point in the future, but I don't know when that's released. Um, but they're pretty uh, ripping chiptunes. I'm pretty proud of them. Uh, but yeah, that's great. I appreciate you letting me know. I always wonder where people find me from. Because I started out, I've been making music since 2000 uh, under the name Norn Rad for a long time. Uh, speaking of Norn Rad. I've been working on a uh, Patreon page. Now, uh, no one's expected to become a patron. I'm not, uh, I'm not there yet, but I just wanted to like lightly poke that it's, it's, it's out there now. So it's Matt Creamer Audio on Patreon. And uh, I've, I've been thinking like, what are perks? Like, why would anyone donate? Like, obviously I try to stream every week, uh, once a week on Sundays, uh, but I want to do more streams, obviously. Uh, but uh, one perk I could only think of was like, man, I've been working on music since 2000. And, um, I have this huge archive of unreleased music, like music that's been rejected, music that I've created never released, that goes all the way back. And so I, I archived, like, for MP3 files, mind you, two gigs of, uh, files, like 364 unreleased, like, never heard of files. That's one thing. So if you join the Patreon, that's one thing I can just, uh, I can think to offer people, in addition to any new tracks I make coming out. Uh, but that's, I'm not trying to say like, hey, everyone, just join the Patreon. I just, I don't know how, actually how to announce a Patreon. So here it is, in the middle of a three-hour stream. Or at the end of a three-hour stream. Um, so there's that. Um, but yeah, if you like the DX7, Alexei, there's uh, Treasure Buster might be way up your alley. Um, it's a, you don't even have to pay for it. It's a free download. But just check it out on Bandcamp uh, or Spotify. It might be, eh, I don't think it's on Spotify. Give it a stream. It's FM'd out of its mind. All right, so maybe we uh, pick one game left here. We close it out with one more game. Man, I can't believe my stream was so slow because I had all those emulators open. Ah, lessons learned. Um, I'm thinking... Slam and Jam on 3DO is pretty righteous, but the audio could be all jacked up. Let's see, we did Wayne Gretzky. Sterling Sharp I'd like to check out, just because it looks stupid. Barkley Shut Up and Jam 2. Two. They made a second one. Who knew? Um, maybe I'll do Slam and Jam because I think it is actually a really good-looking game. Oh my God! Could this tune get any uh, cozier? Nope. Oh my God! It's only getting cozier. The opposite of what I said. And jam 1995. Let's go to disp 
display full screen down. All right, now this should play silky smooth because I don't have a million things open. All right, we can turn down this amazing track. Oh, Crystal Dynamics again. What is this in the top of my screen? What am I highlighting? Retro art. Come on! Oh, you feeling it, guys? Oh, ladies. It was the style at the time. Yo, this bass is... Come on! It's right here. Come on. All right, we'll go exhibition game. Seems like it plays pretty smooth so Hello, far. Hello, everybody. I'm Van Earl Wright, and today we'll be slamming and jamming our way through Crystal Dynamics Slam and Jam 95. So let's take it out to the hardwood for today's matchup. Okay. Looks like we're playing as the, uh, the team. Boston? Uh, all right. All right, so pixel graphics. Like, this thing is... <laughs> Here's... Okay, right away, if you hit the C button, you just freeze the game, and then you can look around the, the court. Which is kind of insane, because I guess that's for figuring out where your teammates are. That's a good way to sort of emulate peripheral view in video games, just let you do this. Um, obviously, that's crazy, but... And you can also rewind it a bit, which is super weird, too. Okay, go. And continue. And continue. And continue. All right. All right, all right, all right. Which button's which? Bob's it inside. Plus. Oh, my okay. lord. They alley-oop me already. Drives to the hole. Hell yeah. That feels good. This game <laughs> is actually a pretty classy game. It's like NBA Jam, but with a whole team. Bob's it inside. Nope. Plus. Whoa, alley-oop okay. city. All right. All right. Sharpshooter. You don't, you don't know what number 20's got. Lobs it inside. Oh, I'm alley -ooping now. Nice. Number one. All right, which button is... Holy he Lord. Has wings. He's got to have wings. This is pretty awesome. All right, can I turbo in? Is there a turbo button? A Whoa, out of life. bounds, bro. 3B. From way down. Oh. Nope. All right, which button's jump? Okay, C button's jump. He takes it up. A pick oh, denied. We stuffed you. Up. Three. From way downtown. Oh, Crash denied. Rebound. All right, which button is steal? Oh, no, that's replay. Why am I doing this? Not a chance. All right, up to that guy. Up to this guy. In. He oh, up. He's a chucker. He gets the oh, in. Well, if it works, it works. I don't know if there is a steal button. E. Backcourt violation. Amateur. Oh, he stole it from me. There must be a steal button. Psych. I pumped him. Oops, I did that thing that I didn't mean to do. And now I don't know how to get it. Oh, denied. Holy rejected is right. The shot is up. Fails it. I'm actually legitimately enjoying playing. <laughs> I'd play this over any basketball game right now. Oh, he, he, he stuffs it home. He did he stuff it home. Oh, talk about stuffing at home. Is it, am I wrong? Is this not blowing anyone else's mind? Rejected. Holy. Well done, computer player. Uh, I jumped the gun. Oh, range. Get the rebound. I don't know anything about basketball. Except that... Whoa. You can do this. Steal. All right. That was my bad. That was sick. Classy little reverse jam. All right. All right. Close game. Slamming and jamming. hey oh. Whoa, easy there. All right, I need to hit some threes, man. Goes for the tray. Yo, I trade it. I find which button is steal. I don't think it's the square button like I've been hitting. Oops, am I gonna stuff this guy? 
Né? Okay, is it L1? Is that? Goes for the steal? You can't trade. Oh, he traded. He traded us good. Alright, what does square? Does square do anything? He puts it up. Oh, rejected. Drives to the hole. Holy. Dunk City. Alright. Alright, here's my point guard. He lays it in. Oh, what a classy layup. Okay. Up. Holy lord, did that go in? Drives to the hole. Oh Jesus. I need to land this. For three. Oh, come on. Grabs that rebound. Sick, accurate foot squeaking sound effects. All right. Get your ass in gear. Two minutes. Two minutes to play. He puts it up. Hell yeah. You don't know who you're messing with. That. From way down. Whoa. He got it. Like, I don't know what all the characters are supposed to do on a court. Oh, shut me down. Oh, oh man, six deal. All right, number 11. In, up, in, up, in. Okay, well, he flew to, s I don't know what I'm trying to say. You do four passes, you're bound to blow it on one of them. For three. Unbelievable. Oh, Lordy. This seems oddly well put together for a 3DO game. Like they had to make some some decisions like with how they were going to play this. For 3. Yes. Oh lord. Like for instance, when the, like the the zooming in and out effect of the characters. Like if I shoot it from over here, watch how it like the ball goes. Believe it. Up the mark. They hit the net. That's pretty good. There's always one player on the court doing something really stupid that he shouldn't be doing. Fiddle six. All right, we gotta go. We gotta hustle. They're making us look like chumps out here. <laughs> Hell yeah. Come on, Dallas. No, are we Boston? Are there are two green teams in the he NBA. Whoa. Got his head above the backboard there. What? Of denial. Yeah, don't mess with me, guy. Up oh, and well, there's a free point. We'll finish off this uh, quarter. He takes it up. Hoop dreams. He's gotta have basketball chance. I got a basketball chance. Ooh, baby. Ooh. All right, all right. This guy's gonna jam it home. Not from back there, he isn't. What, you can't dunk from before the free throw line? Come on, what the frick? He takes it up. Uncomfortable sound. What are you idiots doing? Alright, well. That's the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the first quarter. Alright, guys, that's, uh. I can't believe I got through most of these games. Ugh, I've been sitting down for so long. I feel like I've been in a fight. I think that's a good. That's a good place to call it right there. And we were jamming to this tune. It's a good one to finish the night out on. Guys, we did it. That's another stream in the bag. Maybe I'm way off camera here. Thanks everyone for watching this stream. It was a little loud. A little too loud for our final track. Oh god, yeah. There we go. Guys, thanks for watching the stream. We had some fun. We laughed. We cried. Got my first ever super chat. Thank you, Alexei. Very nice. 
Alexei, Alexei, I'm not sure how to pronounce. You're a good man. We're gonna keep the content going. We're gonna keep it going here. No expense was spared in the making of this stream. We take our streaming seriously. We don't mess around. It's serious business, everyone. We'll be back next week with the July episode. We'll see what the heck Game Pro had up their sleeves in July. Chips in the chat here before the night's over. You had more fun playing that basketball game than anything else. It's true. I wouldn't lie about a thing like that. It actually played really well. So here's what we did, everyone. Real quick recap. Those are the games. We played about 90% of them. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of you all. Good shite, bruh, says Jufes on Twitch. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around. It's always easier when people are watching. Uh, that's it for me, everyone. We're gonna wrap it up. Fade it out. We'll be back next week. Keep your eye on Twitch and YouTube. More content on the way. Good night, everyone.